Hi, folks. Hey, how are you? Hey, Gate Day Friends Online, how are you? Good to see you again. Uh, thank you for uh, for putting up with me while I was out uh, last weekend. I had a ton of fun going out to New York and, and getting to getting to hang out like in a place where like I used to live. I lived there for uh, off and on for a couple of months, actually. It's a small amount of time, but still, like, I, it's been too long since I've gotten to go back and, and really get to enjoy ourselves. Hey, Redhead Bar Red Barbie, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome. Um, and uh, but I missed you all. Honestly, it was the, my first weekend not streaming in quite a while. And uh, it, honestly, it's been a really good uh, opportunity to come back. And I'm really excited to get into this one specifically uh, called Heavy Rain. So if you haven't played Heavy Rain before, uh, we we've been doing a number of these like story based play along horror movies here. Um, we we you know we did Until Dawn that ended up working out really well, and we did a bunch of the Dark Pictures anthology, you know, like The Quarry and all of those, and those were all more or less inspired by the David Cage games or the Quantic Dream games, which we're gonna play right now. Now. Um, Quantic Dream has kind of uh, apparently wasn't a great place to work, and and so you know I, I feel for the folks who uh, who put up with that environment. But they did make a couple of really great choice based games that we're gonna we're gonna do all three of them here. I think we're gonna do Heavy Rain. We can knock out Heavy Rain this weekend. I think it's about a ten hour game, so we'll probably do half today, half tomorrow. Um, Beyond Two Souls uh, is another one. I've that's the one I've never played. So this actually stars uh, Willem Dafoe, and then. Uh, the actor now known as Elliot Page, um, back uh, in his former identity. Um, and uh, the two of them uh, were in that game together. And it, it came out around the same time as like The Last of Us, which actually was, I think, like a little surprising for uh, for folks. There's a lot of like um, a lot of comparison between uh, uh, Elliot Page's character and um, uh, Ashley Johnson, who played Ellie in The Last of Us. And so um, I, I, I'm really curious to see like what that was all about because I don't really, I don't really know. And then of course, uh, Detroit Become Human is one that a lot of people have recommended that we we play. And I do have that one, so we'll do that one as well. Um, this one, yeah, was I think as far as I can remember, um, there's always been this push for like movies to become the new games, right? It's like you have. Um, uh, like even going back to like the mid '90s on like CD-ROMs with like FMV games, where you'd have actors who were in live scenes, like real actors, um, all loaded up on disc, and it was like impossible to store that amount of data in the '90s, and so like it was just prohibitive from all fronts. But you know, as the technology has gotten better and cheaper, uh, all of a sudden, you know, we're starting to see more of these games, and I think Heavy Rain was probably the first one I think that actually kind of like took this new sort of like modern formula that they were going for and really kind of like and this was you know it was different enough on the ps3 that same generation like ps3 xbox 360 was kind of like so it, it really was kind of the point where we sort of went to being able to convey human emotions in a video game you know i mean like you could do faces on the ps2 and all that and and surely i mean there are some emotional games in that generation and all that but this is where you could really start to immerse players in something that was more than just a go do this thing and then you win type game. You know, there's more like experiences and such. So Heavy Rain's kind of like, it, it, it's a story about a serial killer um, uh, called the Origami Killer and uh, kind of four characters who are kind of entwined with the, the impact of this particular serial killer. Uh, I don't want to give anything away. I have played it, so I know who it is. I know, I know how it ends. I'm not gonna, you know, if you haven't played it yet, that's cool. I'm not gonna ruin it. Um, but uh, there might be spoilers in chat, can't help it. Um, yeah, and I think uh, I think this will be a fun one to try. Uh, let's see, other little channel updates. Um, I think I have finally finished the script for I Fixed Bioshock Infinite Story. If you played that game, that story is wild. <laughs> and so being able to not only condense it in a video, but also talk about what could be... <laughs> no spoilers, only Jason. Yeah, we're going to hear Jason's name a lot in this episode, uh, particularly at the very start. Um, I'll explain why. I don't want to ruin it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so uh, so I talked kind of about like what went wrong with Bioshock Infinite, also what went right. I happen to love Bioshock Infinite. I, going back and playing it now, I do see where things could have been better. And so because of that, like I do think it's, it's worth revisiting it and seeing what could maybe mitigate some of the challenges that that game had. And I came up with an alternate version that I think I like. Uh, so I have a friend of mine is, is reviewing the script right now. She always looks it over before I actually record it. But uh, hopefully, if she finishes it today, then I can record on Monday and can start cutting the video. So 
I got the game footage all ready to go, got the script mostly ready to go, and then I just gotta lay everything down. So that's that's where that's at. So thank you uh, for everyone who watched the Resident Evil 6 video, and if you haven't yet, check that one out. Uh, but this one is uh, in the bakery officially, so uh, so excited to, to get that going. All right, uh, let's get into it here. Okay, first off, let me get our friends on TikTok on. Oh, that's right. We had a Stream Deck update while I was out, meaning I can't auto-launch TikTok. And there that goes. Cool. All right, now TikTok's up. Excellent. All right. Convection oven, it done got a bun in it. It does! It's got a Bioshock Infinite-style bun in it, which means um, it's the bun is in and also not in the oven. <laughs> God, it only gets weirder from there, though, right? All right, let's see. Let me, uh, let me get the music. There we go. Okay, and then get the game going. All right. Cool. That's, uh, it's good timing because there has been heavy rain here in San Francisco, and there will continue to be heavy rain as the, uh, this goes on. We're supposed to get thunderstorms, actually, this afternoon. I'm going to miss it, of course, because I'm in here chatting with you all, and that's okay. Uh, I hope it is, I uh, hope you're staying warm and dry wherever you are. Hey, Alan! Uh, good to see you. Let's see. I hope, uh, I'm good and had a blast at the concert. I did. The concert was great. Um, <clears throat> for those of you who didn't know, I am. Um, hey, Ange! Uh, I went to, the reason I wasn't here, I went to New York. I'd never seen a show at Madison Square Garden, and, uh, went to go see... It was Fall Out Boy, Jimmy Eat World, and Hot Mulligan were all playing together. And I was kind of like, the, the, that tour was not coming to San Francisco. If you're not familiar, San Francisco costs a lot to tour in. And so smaller bands will just skip it entirely, unfortunately, like when they're touring and all that. And I get why, but it kind of it, it sucks for me personally. Um, so I, I figured like this would be a great time to go and finally see that in an environment that I never got to do before. Right. So so that's what we did. All right. Um, oh, oh, TikTok, while you're on. Hey, Dylan, uh, I have something for you. And YouTube, nothing's going to change for you all, so, so don't, don't worry about that. But TikTok, here's the deal. As, you, as some of you might know, when we did Last of Us 2, uh, there was a sex scene in Last of Us 2. We aired it, and I got a ban off of TikTok for like an hour. Not like a big deal, but still. Um, so here's the deal. When those moments come up, there's one section of, like, mandatory nudity in this game. I think it's Ethan's butt in the shower in the very beginning. Um, is I am going to kill the the uh, the video feed for just a little bit. As you can see here, this is the blue-footed booby. Uh, and this is going to come up for you guys instead of the actual gameplay footage. You'll still hear it. And I'll bring it back up once it's done. But I am going to have to kill the video feed if I don't want to get banned off of TikTok again. So uh, when those moments happen, I may disable the video feed for TikTok. Uh, YouTube, nothing's going to change for you. So you're fine. Uh, but TikTok, if that bothers you, then feel free to come over to YouTube. And you can see the digital nudity instead. You know. <laughs> All right. This is a cozy game for you, Zaddy Cat. I think it is. I mean, it is kind of like a nice little slice of life. And by that, I mean horrifying considering everything that goes on in it i haven't played this game in years i have played it i know i know the ending and all that um but this is my first time trying it in a bit all right i said we're gonna get going let's get going cool all right so starting over from the beginning and we'll go new story okay now i just i just turned this on just so i could uh let's see just so i could start this let's do let's do a new one and you're gonna watch uh, as you do uh oh thank you all right i hope your homework goes well and study hard, and thank you for letting me keep you company. All right, let's dive in. Yeah, Liquid Squid, I agree. This is a, this is a pretty different one. Hey, Dom Toretto. Quantic Dream. All right, by the way, if you're watching on TikTok, my link to my YouTube channel where I'm streaming right now is in my TikTok bio. So if you like, go to my TikTok bio, click on the YouTube link, and then come on over, and then that way you can see everything without uh, having the video feed disrupted. Alan, thank you for the heart, me. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Tainted Soul. Yes, you guys over on YouTube, you can see all the butt you want. <laughs> you enjoyed this far more than L.A. Noir. That's okay. I haven't... I need to go back and replay L.A. Noir. I played it L.A. Noir, God, like 10 years ago. I'm so curious to see if it comes through. Uh, Cornhusk, this is heavy rain. Also, hi, Cornhusk. All right. Now, of course, I am now on an Xbox controller, so I got to remember... Okay, indicated with... To interact. Make the indicated move with the right stick. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, YouTube, you will get to see Ethan's butt. Gage, thanks for following. All right, try to do it slowly to see if I can control the animation speed. Okay, let's move very slowly and get Ethan up there. There we go. This is uh, Ethan Mars, I think is his name, uh, is, our, is our protagonist. Use the left stick to orientate and walk. Okay. 
See if we can get some clothes on you, buddy. Pretty sparse closet you got there, Ethan. Which is weird, he's not a bachelor yet. So I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, listen to what your character's thinking by... Uh, okay, we gotta, do, we gotta do the shower already. Donut, thanks for following. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. All right. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, what is this? We've got a wedding photo, presumably. It looks like Ethan and his wife. Donut thank, and Varian, thank you both for following. Anything else in the room? Should I go flash my neighbors? I can! Oh my god! <laughs> is it an Xbox Elite Series 2? It is not. This is just, uh, this is a standard Xbox One controller. But it's working! And I'm just gonna be alone in my thoughts, I think. It's not gonna let me, uh, listen to Ethan's thoughts. Oh, it is gonna, like, go to a different camera angle, so that's interesting. Uh, CJ, this is heavy rain. Alright, let's head back up. Alright, I'll go take the freaking shower. Let's go. Okay. Now then, Ethan is, of course, getting ready for the day. Everything's perfectly fine in his world. Enjoy it while it lasts, Ethan, because you, you're you about to have a really bad day. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Hey, son. Don't work too hard. I love you. All right, I'm guessing Grace is my wife or the housekeeper. I'm going to presume my wife, considering she said she loves me. Maybe we just have a weird employer relationship. I, I don't know. Who's to say? Uh, user, thanks for following. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I... Yeah, he's going to go down. All right. All right, buddy. There's there's kids here, and you might want to throw on a towel or something. No? All right, fine. All right, what if I look, my, look at myself in the mirror? Everything's fine and dandy. It's the last time you're going to see Ethan smiling for quite a while, that's for sure. All right. Uh, turn your head to see which actions are available. Slightly move the right stick to look at the shower. Okay, easy enough. Okay, hold on. TikTok, I gotta cut the feed for you guys. Sorry about that. Again, if you want to see the digital nudity, you're welcome to come over to YouTube. But last time I got banned off of TikTok. But yep, there's the butt. Right there. Alright. So, uh, I will bring it right back as soon as the shower is over, I promise. But unfortunately, this is mandatory and you cannot skip it. And I don't want to get banned off of TikTok again. Alright, he just took a five-second shower. Surely, he's definitely clean now. Oh, hey! Alright, we hit our light goal on TikTok during the shower scene. Who's to say? I don't practice Santeria. Ethan's still naked as hell. Uh, I, I had a million dollars, but I, I spent it all. Alright, there we go. If I could find that Hana and that Sancho that she found, well, I'd pop a cap in Sancho and I'd brush my teeth. Alright, there we go. This game got you into story-based games, Tyler? I mean, this is kind of like, this is a good intro to that. Like, even if it seems a little silly that I have to control Ethan brushing his teeth, it does bring a level of interactivity that's, like, not normally there. Oh, thanks, Alan. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, oh, I gotta put a new light goal on. One second, one second, one second. I gotta do that. Okay. I gotta make sure Ethan brushes his teeth. God forbid I, uh, I screw that up. Alright, let's do... Okay. Alright. There we go. Okay, I think... I think we're good. I can probably go get dressed now. Uh, press LB to switch camera angles. Ooh. Okay, so I can do a couple of these. Wait, I got a bird? Oh, I missed the bird before. Say so hi to the bird. You definitely felt this when playing Detroit Become Human. Yeah, it's the same, uh, it's the same creator who made Detroit Become Human. Or same team, I should say. There's a whole lot of people involved in making these games. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Xbox Elite Series, uh, is your favorite controller ever, doesn't have any crazy haptics or gyroscope, but it feels so premium. That's kind of all I want. I don't really want the gyroscope. Um, I don't, and I don't have a PS5, I haven't used the DualSense before. I mean, it certainly looks cool, and everyone loves it. Yeah, Liquid Squid, the, uh, the motions are gonna be pretty important later on. Especially because, uh, this game kind of turns into Saw for a little bit. Uh, especially Ethan's storyline. Ethan's storyline... Actually, the timing is really important. I remember, like, the driving sequence being pretty tough when I first did this game. All right, there's Ethan. Nice little 2010 fit going on. Oh, thanks, Tyler G. Good to have you here. 
Let's see, anything going on in the uh, the kids' room? Got a cool little tent. Some balls. Oh, oh, that's right, he can juggle. Tyler, thanks for following. Okay. Now I gotta remember, now I'm using an Xbox controller and not a PlayStation one, so of course, X is in a different place now. That's totally fair and fine. Boom, nailed it. All right. Playing this on the PS3 uh, was an absolute pain at times. Yes, Alexis, it really was. Oh, man. All right, let's head downstairs. All right. Juggled. I've dodged a, dodged a ban off of TikTok. You played The Last of Us remake on PS5 when it rained. You could feel light taps on the controller. Ooh, that's neat. Character thoughts change with the situation. Okay, so I've garden and work. Ethan kind of feels like more of a more like a work guy. I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. All right. Well, you do have plans later, so let's get that out of the way. Do I have an office here? Batteries in the control last. Oh, that's not good. Why is TikTok pushing to ban the best people? Uh, you tell me, man. I just. I, especially just because, like, with The Last of Us 2, we showed horrific violence for, like, hours upon hours, and it was fine. But, man, two seconds of digital boobs. Boom. You're done. Uh, I'm not sure where work is supposed to take place. Sort of feels like that might have been upstairs in the office. What is this? Ooh. You haven't played it since it first came out. I think I played this twice, I want to say. It's been a minute, but I don't recall. I, I remember how it ends. Um, but I, there's a lot that I don't remember about this. Maybe I will go garden. Why not? Gardening sounds kind of fun. Zen. Oh, I live in a cute little neighborhood. You've only played this once, but the story stuck with you. Oh, neat. It is a good little story. I like it. Uh, let me change the camera angle. There we go. I want to go to the backyard and go garden. Got a sick house. I don't know what Ethan does for a living, but man. Made it. Uh, Shalandra, you played this uh, game years ago. You still look it up from time to time? Oh, cool. Well, glad you made it. Is this... Okay, that's not gardening. I mean, that's the way I garden, but it's not, you know gardening. You actually have to interact with the plants at some point, Ethan, besides just lying on them. Alright, is there anything to actually garden? Oh, there's this over here. I have no thoughts in my head as Ethan. Ethan is pleasantly thoughtless right now. Does sound kind of nice, to be honest with you. <laughs> Shalandria, thanks for following Oh, if only I could be so blissfully unaware of what's to come. Especially for Ethan, considering how, how much his life is going to change in the very near future. Ugh, God, I feel so bad for this guy. Okay, alright. There ain't nothing here to garden, I don't think. Uh, music... Oh, coffee! I want coffee. Cup of coffee. Yeah, let's make some coffee. Is it the potted plant? Oh, okay. Got it. Good to know. Well, now I'm on the coffee train, so forget those plants and work. Not interested. That's right. The controls are still a little bit jank. Is there a run button? There's not. Nope. All right. This is walking speed. Uh, where's coffee hiding? Ah, there we are. Gimme. Okay, and there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Alan, thank you for all the roses. Oh my gosh, Alan, thank you. All right. Sort of a cup of espresso, really, if we're going to get particular. It's what the Europeans call coffee. Not here in America, though. It's not coffee unless it takes about six minutes off my life. Hey, Dad! take it easier. Yes, Mango Dragon, have that second cup of coffee. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, ten years old, that's not... Not for long. Up, getting there. <laughs> now, can I'm I a bad person, car? I should not be laughing at this. I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. 
<laughs> Ethan, can you please help me? No. I'm coming. All right. All right, give me all those. Oh, that's fine. I'll take all three of them. And... Boom, look at that. Pro gaming, everybody. How much does this rain weigh? That I don't know. Hey, Isabel. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? Literally, no. Uh, not really. I tried, but I didn't really nail it. Yeah, so I uh, ended up just laying down in the grass. The clients next month. Oh, I've got a billion things to do. Oh, Eva, New York was great. Thanks for asking. I had a lot of fun. Can you please help me? What do you need? There should be plates in the living room cupboard. Okay, plates in living room cupboard. No problem, leave it uh, to me. All right, this is good husband simulator, I hope. Where is the living room? Is that up here? Are you... No, you're a book on architecture. That's not what she asked for, Ethan. I mean, I, I made this happen, so that's on me, but... Hey, Ethan. Oh, there's my office. I asked you to take care of the plates. I mean, you did, and I, I got... Forgot. They're in the living room cupboard, right? Oh, that's a living room cupboard, okay. Since last time I asked. <laughs> yeah, literally no work done whatsoever. When does this game get to the whips and chains? Later. I'm trying to remember if this game has an S&M theme to it. I think it might, actually. All right. That yeah. door is always sticking. Give it a big tug. All right, let's give it a big tug. Hey. All right. There's a plate. That's the set my mother gave us. Be careful, okay? Oh, Isabel, you wouldn't have embarrassed yourself. For a diplomatic incident with your mother. <laughs> Plus, I put I. It didn't have heavy rain as an option. Hey, Ethan, you said you were going to be careful. Well, that's right. I have to do this very slowly. Yeah, uh, TikTok didn't have the option to put heavy rain on the the menu, so I had to put Detroit Become Human. It was the closest thing. So fair enough if you uh, if that's a little confusing. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Again, it's been a minute since I've played this. Uh-oh. Too, too hard. There we go. Alright. I may not have won Good Husband Simulator, but decent one. I'm not getting divorced today. I don't think. Hey. How's it going? You don't need to wash those dishes. The kids are upstairs. But I find you very attractive. Oh, well. so bad yourself, Mr. Mars. Okay, obviously. Yes! Right, hang on, hang on. Where's the, the, the... We got a little bit of that. All right. I know what's on your mind, Ethan. Yeah, Cornhusk, I'm pretty sure it's Joe Biden. It, it's his fault. Shame. I've really got to focus on this. Oh, thanks for... Uh, thanks, Al. Appreciate it. Uh, good to have you here. This little conversation later. Oh, will we now? Well, all right. Okay. Uh, present help. Wait, I got I to gotta do my first Jason. Hang on. Jason looks happy. <laughs> yeah. Don't get used to that. Hard to believe he's ten years old today. Maddie, thanks for following. It seems like only yesterday we were flirting in high school. We're getting old, Ethan. Yep, yep, yep. You are okay. Uh, oh, uh, presents. Did you find the present for Jason? Yeah. For I who? Picked it up from the store oh. this morning. Oh, we were lucky. It was the last one in stock. Uh, okay. Can I help with something else? Can I do anything to help? No, thanks. I should be able to manage. Okay. Then, let's see. Do I... Okay, different ones here. Do Where I have to exhaust all of these? Oh, uh, about 2 p.m.? Oh, God, I hope I'll be able to keep the situation under control. Not like last year. What happened last year? Ooh, grapes. Yum. All right, let's go see the kids. Where's my birthday boy at? Get some quality time in while we can. Oh yeah, Alex, it makes it kind of fun so like uh, to put the still alive counter on there. Now it's, it's harder to lose people in this game. You can do it, but it's not as risky as like the quarry, especially where there's like nine people. So like the game can go on. You never know, Game Tape Friends Online, it might. Oh, the kids are in the yard. All right, never mind. Yeah, Jeremy, this is kind of like Until Dawn. This came out a few, like, uh, five-ish years before Until Dawn. But Until Dawn was definitely inspired by this. Yep, there's going to be a lot of Jasoning later on. Uh, 
Hey, we hit our like goal on TikTok. Uh, Oria, do I still play Resident Evil? Uh, sometimes. I just, I haven't, uh, we've played just about all of them, though. Oh, wait, hang on. Um, we still haven't played Zero, and occasionally I'm, uh, eventually I'm going to do Zero. You first lost someone, you went, oh, sh I mean, it, it was kind of a, like, normally, like, you, you can't lose people. It's weird that, like, five minutes, boys, okay? After that, we've got to eat because your friends are going to be here okay. soon. Like, it was pretty different when um, when you could actually lose somebody and the game could continue, right? Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do... All right. You first, Jason. All right, Jason. Let's do the helicopter. That's not... Uh, oh, okay. This. All right. I'm going to say that is not an appropriate thing to be doing with your son. Will I press the button to call Jason every time the chat says Jason? Yes, I will, Game Day Friends Online. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you quit this game because he was being useless, Kate. Oh, I'm sorry. Now it's my turn. <laughs> I tried to help, ish. Kate Ghost Version, thanks for following. All right. Okay, Sean. Get All right. Here. Let's go. Get in my quality time with Sean while I can as well. Uh oh, uh, can I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, remember that. I, I want to give Ethan as much quality time with the kids as possible because, oh man, he's gonna look back on this fondly later. <laughs> I I helped Kate. Now, granted, I was, I, I I was waiting for her direction. So I mean, you know, I was assisting her. I guess you could say. Hey, sister, shalom to you, too. Be careful. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Jeremy, the plot of this game, uh, this is a game about a serial killer who kidnaps children. And so uh, there's kind of four characters who are sort of affected oh. by that, uh, by the, the serial killer's actions. And Ethan will be one of them. This is the very beginning, of course. This time you're done for. You're gonna pay for all your crimes, evil one. Ooh, are we fighting? All right, let's go. Say your prayer. All right, now we're talking gameplay. Later, kid. Come on, Jason. Hoi Give up. I am victorious. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Sorry, folks. I kept all those kids alive in the quarry. I should be able to handle a sword fight with a ten-year-old. That's right. What a good dad. Establish dominance. Never let them win. They'll start getting ideas. Foreshadowing. Uh, food's ready, kids. You coming in? That music is really great, right? Plot twist, the swords are real. Yeah, right? All right, are we going to have lunch? I guess we are. Should I shut the back door, maybe? Lunch is ready. No, not going to let me. All right, that's fine. Oh, let's go find Sean. Uh, yes, 513, the game is called Heavy Rain. Bumble Fluff, you, uh, you adore this game? Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. It's been uh, This is a great excuse for me to come back and replay this, because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, is it free on PSN? I doubt it's free on PSN. Um... Let's see, 513, thanks for following. I think it's like, it's probably not very expensive right now, um, but it's not a free game. What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. What? He's dead and it's all my fault. Did he die in the last two minutes? What'd you do? Sean, of course it's not your fault. Delaney, thanks for following. I'd give anything if you could come back to life. Oh, foreshadowing. There's some things which just have to happen. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah. I know. No. Aw, oh, sad. Well, it's gonna get a lot sadder. <laughs> Mummy of Demons, thanks for following. Wasn't expecting to get sad on TikTok, but here you are reliving this game. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I didn't add Merlin to the death counter, unfortunately. Oh boy, speaking of the death counter. 
Uh, yeah, if you guys were sad before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's on PSN. It's also on Steam. So if you have a PC uh, or if you don't own a PlayStation, that's another option. I'm playing the Steam version. So, of course, obviously it looks a bit better than the PS3 version. But, I mean, the PS3 games still look pretty good. This was towards the end of that generation, I think. I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for a minute? I promise you won't be long. Sure. Oh, that's you're going to regret that. Oh, God. Mango Dragon of the UPA. Thanks oh, for the man. GGs. Oh, oh, you're not. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Let's see if I can keep him around. Yeah. Some folks are showing up at exactly the wrong time. I'm sorry. All right. Where is he? He was... I was watching my wife just go into the, the shoe store. Oh, there it is. Okay. Jason. All right. Jason. Okay, if, if every time I see a Jason, I'm gonna have to call it. Yep, saw it. Jason. Where is he? Jason! <laughs> oh man. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Alright, hey, kid, get over here. Jason! Hey, there's no run button, unfortunately. I can't get over to him, but like. I think it's the wrong kid, if I remember right. Why are all these kids in short? Oh, no, there he is. Okay, good. Jason, you really shouldn't run her off like that. Yeah, you really shouldn't. There's an awful lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? <laughs> I really love to have one. Please, Dad. Join just to scream, Jason. Yeah, I mean, it's the right time. Let's go buy a balloon. Great! Yeah, Maverick, you, you are correct. Hey, <laughs> Thank you for the super Jason. chat game, Dave Friends Online. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, the red one. Oh, let's get Jason a red balloon. It's a little outdated, Mr. Dice Guy, just in that, like, the medium has evolved a little bit since then, but I think it's still, it's still good. All right, let's, uh, let's pay the guy, I think. Yep. Keep the change. All right, where's he at? Shoot. Okay, red balloon. Uh, where are you at? It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. You would think Fabled Sub, also Fabled Sub, hi. bottom of balloon, I turn around and just disappear. Disappeared? What do you mean, disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. No, you won't. <laughs> All right, let's see. Jason! Where is he? Come here, kid. Are you downstairs, maybe? There he is. Quick, I need to go downstairs now. Red balloon like it's something out of it. We all float down here, Jason. Jason! You hate the anxiety you feel? Yeah, me too. Jason! Oh, hello. Who are you getting off the escalator? Hey, how's it going? No, I'm not married. No, oh, okay, hang on. Mm. Jason! Where is he? Why did the kid leave? Because he's... I did this when I was a kid, too. I would. I had no attention span whatsoever. Jason! But there's that balloon. Where is it? I'm going to save him. It's going to be a very short game. Jason! Is that? Oh, shoot. Oh, darn. Okay, where is... All right, that's not good. Oh, was there one over there? There is. That's not him. Okay. Jason! This, they did a really good job with this. Like, this is really chaotic. Uh, okay, where is... I'm looking for a red balloon. Not seeing one. That's that's not him. We already... Let me... Okay. Did he go back upstairs, maybe? I don't think so. Yeah, this is a very crowded mall. This is definitely pre-2020. Over here. Jason! Over this way, maybe? Jason! No, okay. Alright, I'm gonna try going back upstairs. Jason! Oh, can't go that way. What about up here? I go upstairs. The I cannot. Should make it easier to spot. Yeah, you would think, right? Oh wait, no. Oh, there is a kid. That's what I was looking for. Jason. Jason. Whoops. Jason. Oh, okay. There he is. I think. Oh God. Oh no. Jason. Let me just. Very carefully make my way through the crowd, get my son, and go off and have a totally normal rest of my life. Maybe start punching people. Yeah, right? 
where'd he go? He was right here a second ago. There he is. Oh, no. Oh, God, this is gonna suck. Shit. Shit! Jason! Stay where you are. Dad! Oh. No! Oh, God. Now, if he landed like that, you would think that Ethan would have taken the brunt of that hit. Jason. <laughs> hey, Tremaine. No. No, no Jason. Oh, my God, Because, no. yeah, because Ethan had his back to the car, right? So you would think that, like, Jason would have been fine, but Ethan might have got the worst of that. Oh, all right. Ah. Oh. I don't feel good about that. I don't. That's that was that was that was out of line. <laughs> All right. So now um Ethan is living a pretty different life now. Uh, apparently things uh things didn't <laughs> clip that. Okay. I'll do hang on, hang on. I should yeah. I don't I don't highlight enough. Oh, I can't. God darn it. I'll have to clip it later. All right, Pascal Lingdo. I think I think this is the voice of Ethan. Jackie Ainsley, I guess, is Madison. Guess dude wasn't such a good dad after all. Oh, I mean, he just he lost track of his son for a second, though, right? It's like that could have happened to anybody. Like I definitely ran off when I was a kid. And I was just like, whatever. I don't even care. Um, oh, I didn't even do, uh, what did I put for my like goal? It was, uh, no scrubs. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is the guy who can't get no love from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. All right. Okay. Well, a lot of faces. You never had a chance to run off. Your parents were never here past the age. Oh, Mango Dragon, I'm sorry. Well, I definitely did, and I, looking back, could have got myself into trouble a hundred times. This is Heavy Rain, Ross. Oh, Liquid Squid, you love my singing. And now we're at 4K. All right, uh, let's see. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Ethan's neighborhood is awful. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and I need you, and I miss you. And now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Do you think time could pass? Are there other games besides uh, Dr Drip Become Human? Yes, there's one called Beyond Two Souls. I've never played that one, and I'm, we're going to do that one next weekend. So uh, I think this is, I think it'll be a good time to uh, see that one. And then we'll do Detroit Become Human after that. It does kind of make me want to say, G Smalls, thanks for following. Because. You know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. All right. Let's see. 8K is up next. What are we doing for 8K? We're going to do... Because I saw Fall Out Boy. Uh, we'll do Sugar We're going down. I love that song too, Jeremy. Two years later. All right. So Ethan is... Um, it's been a hard two years. Kids are dangerous, dude. Cars should be careful. Yeah, I mean, the car seemed like it made it through just fine. I don't... I, not Jason, though. Uh, Redhead Barbie, when you were little, you once ran off inside a swimming pool. Your mom started crying and panicking. Turns out you got on the men's wardrobe. Oh, whoops. My dad. Well, easy mistake. A thousand Miles came out before you were born. I mean, that song's like 20 years old now. Hey, buddy. How was school? Hope you're not emotionally shattered like I am. Oh no, G Small, I just did that's just a effect I can do. Uh let's see. Can I talk to Sean? Hey dude. Uh what is this? Oh yeah, seatbelt. Seatbelts are a good idea. Car lobby making your cities unwalkable. Yeah. At least you guys have the monorail in uh in Seattle. We do have a train system here in uh, San Francisco. I used to live right along one of the stations. I miss it.
Jeremy, that I don't know. It really looked like uh, like Ethan would have taken the brunt of that that hit from the car and not uh, not Jason. But apparently, maybe he landed wrong. I don't know. Tough to say. Whatever it was, uh, Jason is no longer with us. I'm guessing this is uh, like New Jersey or something similar. The Seattle Monorail is practically a Simpsons theme. <laughs> oh, God. Do you get that, that uh, Conan O'Brien song in your head every time? Okay. Now it's very dark and I don't know why. Uh, game? Are you loading? Are you loading? Okay, sorry. This is taking a second. Uh, it is, Jeb Alex. It's just, uh, it's getting to that. Why is, uh, uh-oh. Did we... Oh, there it goes. It just took a long time to load. I thought we were frozen for a second there. Oh, I'll do it if somebody dies, G-Small. I got so many of these things. All right, they, uh, downgraded the house a little bit. I think... I'm pretty sure his wife left him, but I don't recall her. Or they got divorced for one reason or another. Yeah, Jeremy, this game's from 2010. That's pretty old. Hey, he's divorced. Okay. A lot of people walk in Alabama. I believe it. Okay, we have a schedule for Sean. Let's go check this out. Oh, yeah, Jarita, we'll get to the Sean part momentarily. Oh, Ethan, you thought the worst times were over, and you were wrong. All right. Snack, homework, dinner. Okay, so I gotta give him a snack. How do I make him a snack? Is uh, Do I give him some fruit? Fruit's a good snack. Uh, what time is it now? All right, it's past 4.30. So we gotta make you a snack. Okay, it's not gonna let me get the fruit. How about... What about in the fridge? I see stuff. No, not the beer. That is not an appropriate snack for a child. Maybe I have to, uh, do... Yeah, snack. Time for a snack. Maybe Sean is hungry. Maybe. Okay, now can I give him the fruit? No. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully I can give him something besides a beer now that I've activated that. Uh, no. Just the beer still. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, wait a minute. Orange juice. I mean, that's not really a snack, but, you know, fine. Oh, ask him what he wants. Oh, okay, I'm gonna drink it. All right, well, that's fine. Okay, let's put that back. Go ask him what he wants. Sean, you hungry? Oh, he looks like Jason in that, <laughs> in that get up. Snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh, a little. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. All right. Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. Now can I give him some fruit? Like a normal parent? Am I juggling? Alright. Yeah, that's good enough. Would you like that? No, okay, or are we gonna... Alright, you're gonna come eat it over here. Which is probably better. There... Oh, no, I'm putting that back, huh? There's something else I can give him then. Something in here? What do we got? Uh, granola bar? Chips. I'll give him the granola bar. That works. Check the fridge. Alright. And get him some milk as well. Does he have milk in here? Let's see. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't think I can go to the fridge. Okay. How about this? Okay. Can I hand this to you? I can. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Look at me being a good dad. dad. Alright, it is almost... What time is it? 5.30. Okay, so what's up next? Next we got... Homework at six. 
How about who's Grace? Grace has Sean this weekend. Oh, Grace is the wife. Seems like he can't wait. To no, well that sucks. Uh, let's see. We're not at homework time yet. Let him relax. It's fine. Okay. Do I just sit here if I do this? Yep. <laughs> Why don't I sit down and watch TV with him or something? Have some quality time. Could probably use it considering. Yeah. Let's bond. Oh yeah, Swamp Cat, we're past that, unfortunately. Sorry. The idea that Jason would have lived if his dad hadn't jumped on him. I think I think Jason was probably gonna die either way, but still, it's just the way that he he hit made it look like they were like that was uh almost his fault. Uh let's see. What is discuss? We're not at homework time yet, but we're almost there. Uh yeah. So you wanna talk a little? Talk about what? Uh -huh. I don't know about you, your friends. Yeah, Jeremy, it's tough. Nothing special. Uh, you want to play something? What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Oh, oh poor kid. Alright, well, it is almost homework time, so let's get to that. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. <laughs> Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? What? You don't... No, now. I think we should just get right to it. Yeah, knock it out. Yeah, that's the way to go. Get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. Yeah, we're going to do it together? I don't have to do fractions, do I? Because I, I got to say, <laughs> you, guys, you guys might find out how little I remember from math. All right, grab your stuff. I'm going to find... Where can I sit down? Where does the game want me to be? Here? No. Okay, where do you want to sit? Okay, you're going to sit there. There we go. All right. What is the capital of New Jersey? What was the Teapot Dome scandal? What is an adverb? It kind of is. Alright, so he's doing his stuff. Is it something I can help with, or can I just stare at you creepily? You actually enjoyed math class? Math isn't isn't so bad. I'm just like, if I have to answer, like, what is a denominator? I might get a little worried. Alright, let's see. What? what uh, okay, so 7 o'clock is dinner. Maybe I should start on that, because he's... It's 6.20. Uh, no, we're not gonna go. No, no, no. We, we still gotta get him some dinner. Is this isn't yet another clock. Yeah, same clock. Okay. Anything over here? Can I go in here? Okay, this is a supply room. We've got laundry. Go outside, but it's raining. I think the beer is appropriate. I don't know about that, Emmeline. Thanks for following. <laughs> Dad, I'm finished. Can I go watch TV? Is he actually finished? Let's go see. Let me have a look. Yeah, did you really finish everything? Pretty good. Well, looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. All right. Yeah, he's done. He's done. Oh, it's not time for bed yet. It's dinner time. I gotta make him dinner. What do you want for dinner? It just gets me ill at night for choices. I don't really want either of those. I would like to make dinner for my son. But I gotta wait another 20 minutes or so. Let's keep bonding. Yeah, watch some TV. What does this do? Oh, it turns it off. Can we hang out and talk? Yeah, dinner. It's dinner time. I better make something for Sean. It sure is. Is he gonna go turn it back on? Ah, well. All right. Hey, Trisha. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Good to have you back. Oh, uh, how you been? Okay, gotta make something for Sean. Uh, no dinner. No, no, no. We're gonna make him dinner. Come on now. Not an awful parent. I'm just going through some stuff, man. 
Alyssa, thanks for following. Is there something in here, maybe? What is this? These cans of stuff I can use to make dinner with? No. No prompts. All right, fine. There's something over here. No. Uh, hmm. Do I ask him what he wants for dinner, maybe? I want to say no dinner. Yeah, dinner. Do you want me to get your dinner? Of course he does. Oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. All right, let's go see what he can find. When it's ready. There was some chips in there. It's not really very healthy. Okay, can I get some? Okay, okay. all right, here's the fridge. All right, we got some pizza. We got some roasted chicken. Let's get into the roasted chicken. That sounds good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Taste my blade, son, indeed. Not looking for a frosted mug. As of right now, I think I'll wait until uh, till Sean goes to bed before having a beer. I want to be a good example for him, you know? All right. That's going. Oh, wow. That was the fastest microwave ever. Okay. Up. It's probably pretty hot. Be careful. It's Chloe and Jeremy. Thanks for following. It would be ice cold, yeah, if it was in the, the microwave for, like, five seconds. All right, we'll deal with that later. The dishes, quote-unquote. You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming! Uh, Gab Alex, so they, uh, it said, uh, that she has him this weekend. So, th they haven't officially said so, but one would assume that they are divorced now. Am I gonna juggle? Why not? Make sure I'm still... Good at all of these for later, because these are going to be really important. Mm. Ah, missed it. Bonk. All right. If I leave the dish in that sink, you will be, all right? Yeah, see, you did miss Jason, unfortunately. Well, I think Ethan misses Jason a little bit more. Oh, I am a terrible person for laughing at this. Uh, honey bun, this is heavy rain. By the way, if you're watching on TikTok, my link to my YouTube channel where I'm streaming right now is in my TikTok bio. So if you like, go to my TikTok bio, click on the YouTube link, and then you can come over and watch in full screen with us. It also means you can see the nudity when it happens because uh, I have to block it on TikTok, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't want to get banned again. Oh, it does, but it's actually the wrong name up on top, Mango Dragon. When does the game get more intense again? Uh, soon. Dylan, thanks for following. Uh, once, uh... Once stuff goes down with Sean, I think we have to intro the characters first. I'm not 100% sure, but it's it'll get more intense shortly. You forgot about this game? Me too, Pabby Shucks. Uh, Sherry, this is heavy rain. Juggle or die here, right? Uh, okay. Why don't we... Why don't we uh, oh, you didn't even eat your... Uh, your granola bar. All right. How's school? How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. Hmm. Oh, you poor kid. Right, thanks for following. Uh, all right, you ready to go to bed? Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. Oh, but I never go to bed this early. Oh, is it too early? All right, we'll do it later. You're right, it's still early. I'll come back for He's you. got like 10 more minutes before he has to go to bed. You know what? But when I was a kid, I was absolutely like that. No, those 10 minutes were precious. <laughs> Wrong kid died. Oh, God. You've never seen this game, Melissa? Oh, it, it's pretty good. It's kind of a precursor to like Until Dawn and all the other... Um, play along movies like this was probably the first one that was really uh they kind of popularized the genre you know uh i think i saw a stuffed animal in here that he might want let's see no no we're just gonna leave it all right that's fine hey, what's in the dryer oh we got a few minutes we're just gonna run it all right that's fine hey dylan okay All right, is it 8 o'clock yet? Yes, it is. All right, it's bedtime, kid. No more goofing around. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm Code Orange Forever. Thanks for following. Can I stay up a little longer? Nope. Now, that's not very reasonable, is it? You have yeah. to tomorrow. We have to have a good day tomorrow. All right, I'm going. 
Are you coming with me? I'll tuck you in. Put on your pajamas. I'll come up. I've never seen pajamas with a Y before. That was a, I don't know if that was a typo or if it just... That's how you know some other folks say it. Uh, Code Orange Forever. This is PC, so I'm playing the Steam version of this game right now. Is it scary? It does get scary at parts, Alyssa. Uh, this game is about a serial killer. It, it, although it wouldn't, you wouldn't know it by the first uh, couple of minutes we've been playing here. But for the moment, it's still, you know, just kind of a nice little slice of life, unfortunately, about a family that's going through some tough times. All right, you're going to get your pajamas and all that. Uh, is there anything going on in my bedroom? Looks, I, It's a nice touch that he still has all the furniture from the old house. Like that, like this shelf was definitely in the old house. Got a little music going. All right, all right. Not exactly a banger, but I'll I'll go with it. What time is it in the game? Uh, it's a little after eight p.m. Uh, what is this rated? I presume this is rated M, Rob Bowie, or it's M in the U.S. I'm not sure, depending on on where you are, like what your rating system is. All right, let's let's get y'all tucked in. I'm going to read you a story or anything. Uh, yeah, let's shut the blinds. Should be getting dark soon. Uh, sh not too far, Sherry. We we just started uh, about like 40 minutes ago. What does this say? We have a drawing. Oh, well, that's not good. If you weren't here, this is... Uh, uh, when his family was together, and uh, Sean had an older brother who unfortunately was hit by a car and died. All right, I'd say good night, but I mean, let's yeah, let's let's tuck him in. Good night, Sean. Tell him you love him and all that. Teddy. I haven't got my teddy, Dad. Ah, we do need that. It's somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. Oh, no, not too bad. Come on. We'll, we'll let's get him his teddy bear. All right, I'll have a look around and see if I can find it, okay? I know where it is. It's down in the laundry room. We already found it. Yeah, come on. He's had he's had a tough time, and so have you, Ethan. But the least you could do is make him a little comfortable. How about some tequila instead? That'll knock him out, that's for sure. Hey, Sophie, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? All right, let's get him his teddy. I believe it's this guy. Back to it. Uh, some random dude. Thanks for following. I love the usernames on TikTok, man. <laughs> ah. All right. Uh, the concert was great, Funky Nuggets. Thank you. I had a great time. Uh, Pooh Finger 47. Speaking of usernames, thanks for following. And Diamonds, thank you for following. Here you go. Look at what I found. Thanks, Dad. Aw. Good night, Sean. Night. Ethan Silva, thank you for following. Have I played Red Dead 2? Yes, I have. I love it. Yeah? Why do you look so sad? Oh. I think I just need some time. To get back to the way... We hit our light goal. Speaking of uh, the concert. What happened to Jason wasn't your fault. <sighs> Good night, Sean. You're, you're right, and it's sad that my, uh, I believe now, 10-year-old son uh, has to be my therapist. But sometimes life sucks. Oh, God. Have I played Detroit Become Human? I have. And in fact, we're going to play that in two weeks. Uh, yeah, tuck him in. Come on. Don't let him sleep without a blanket on him. Yeah, the son being the therapist is rough. Hey, uh, War World 2 is cringe. This is one of your son's favorite games. Neat. Uh, okay, what is this? Yeah, kiss him goodnight. Uh, what have I been up to? Well, let's see. I was at uh, New York for the weekend. I uh, went to a concert out there. Oh, wait. Oh, that was loud. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, what? Oh, that's not good. You having like a panic attack here? Is that what that is? Uh, it's Jason, Goth Bunny. It was his son that is no longer with us. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Uh, what are Am I more than you bargained for yet? Why am I out in the street when I should be at home with my son? 
lie in the grass like I did in my backyard. Just a notch in your bedpost and you're just a line in a song. What is in your hand? Here's some origami. That's not symbolism. Where I was sleeping in and was sleeping for the wrong team. We're going down, down in an early round. And Ethan, we're going down swinging. I'll be a number one with a bullet. <laughs> Carnaby, what is it with Carnaby Corner North? I'm sure we're going to find out. All right. Uh, let's see. I think we're up on. Oh, I got uh, interactive drama and good father as a uh, because I, I followed Sean's schedule. I got some achievements. All right. I uh, go to 16K and we're going to do this time. What are we doing? I always do Mr. Brightside, but I always love it. Why was Ethan born to suffer? Excellent question. Uh, Star, I think this game is good. Depends on what you're looking for in a game. But I would say yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so this is Scott Shelby, who I believe is a private investigator. Is this game sad? Yes, it is. This game is very sad, unfortunately. Oh, thanks, Sophie. I did have a great time. All right, let's go into whatever this motel is. Yeah, this game is so freaking sad. All right, so who is here? Should I talk to the desk guy? Lauren Winter. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope, can't say it does. Origami killer, seven victims, huh? All right, well, how about now? What if I give you this crispy little five? Oh, that Lauren Winter. Oh, wow, you are a cheap bribe. Last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Last door on the left at the end of the corridor. Yeah, I'd be like, if you got 20 more of those, then we can talk. Is this on PC too? Yes, it is, Matt. I'm actually playing it on PC right now. This is the Steam version. It describes Ethan's pain too. That's a good way to put it. All right, last door on the left. Lauren Winter, what's your deal? Is there horror in this? Yes, there is. We haven't really gotten to it yet, but there will be. This, this game's going to get intense. Uh, J Dub, thanks for following. Lauren Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, hi. I, uh, interrupt this. Oh, well. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Okay, you're all business. Is it locked at 30? No, this is at 60. Um, I think, I think on TikTok displays it at 30, unfortunately, though. But, uh, it is running at 60. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? Wow, boy, this you're all about the romance, aren't you? Uh, money on the table. How do I accomplish that? Yeah. Don't start the timer yet. There we go. There we go. Aha. Uh, have I tried to try to become human? I have, and we're going to play it again in about two weeks here, so that's happening soon. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. I mean, you did already hit the timer. Oh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? I mean, is that an option, or is My that... No, is okay, Shelby. all right. I'm a private detective. Uh, no, thanks for following. The victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know, and I have nothing to add. Oh, that's right. Yeah, her kid got, uh... Got, uh... Disappeared as well. Yeah, let's be compassionate. Come on. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, Yeah. You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. I fabled stuff, I think, just to pay her for her time. How about convince? I feel like, okay, yeah, she's she's a little emotionally raw, and you did lie to her. Are you deaf? Oh, whoops. I have nothing to say. Okay, this is timed. I gotta remember that. You'd love to see a Metroid game or two after Detroit Become Human? I would love to go back and do Super Metroid again. That'd be a lot of fun. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Uh, Ted, this is heavy rain. What does it make? Well, it does kind of matter. Trick or buy. Buy. What is... Yeah. I bought 10 minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is Clearly. That it? Yes. You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Well, Get out of here. He, he's not for anything right now, but maybe you could help save someone else. All right. All right. Well, uh, I see gems. This is a heavy rain. It'd be sweet to have ultra-wide support. I don't know if it has ultra-wide support or not. What's in here? Do I pay you more? Huh? Well, if you remember anything... Oh. 
card. The detail. Give me a call. All right. Can I... Maybe while I'm here... I mean, can I get that freebie? No? Okay. All right. Fine. All right. Let's go. Yeah, Game Day Friends Online. I think it would be super fun to go back and do, like, Super Metroid again. You're deep into Super Metroid right now. You're watching uh, Shiny Zenny celebrate its 30th anniversary. Oh, neat. Uh, is this... The, this is in the door, right? I don't think it is. Oh, oh, it is. All right. All right, Lauren. What is Cry of Fear? I've never played Cry of Fear, Poofinger. Not familiar with it. All right. Oh, oh, that's right. Scott has asthma. I forgot about this. Let's let's reach into my pocket. No, oh, this one maybe. That's right. So Scott has bad asthma. That will occasionally pop up every now and then. Uh, Ren, right now I'm on PC, so this is the Steam version. Lauren, open up, baby. It's me. Sorry, what are you doing here? I already told you I don't want to see you anymore. Sorry, Dell. But I really wanted to see ya. Oh, uh, what? Hold on a sec. What? No, 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 buddy. Whoa! What are you doing in there? <coughs> this is you, Jeremy. <laughs> I think you may have to open the door. What do you want, asshole? Whoa. Lauren, is everything all right? Oh, no, it's not. She's just swell. Now beat it, loser! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go... You again? See, uh... Make ourselves a little bit more, um, difficult to ignore. Are you? Let's find out. I don't feel like you're beating this stuff out of me. Oh, I'm going to trash Lauren's apartment while I'm at it, apparently. All right, I'm glad I practiced on the juggling. Oh, bad swing, dude. Will you? Will you call the cops, Lauren? Something tells me someone in your line of work is probably not going to want to do that. I am breaking everything Lauren owns right now. I don't know who she should be more mad at, truthfully. Oh, oh that could get real bad real quick. Careful with that broken bottle. That was a long fight. Yes, there we go. Yeah, get a few hits in, Scott. Come on. Ow. Ooh. I think it's time for you to leave. See you again, asshole. Oh, you really want another round of that? Really? Yeah, I'm gonna... Are you all right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. Russ King, really thanks for following. And I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. <sighs> you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Yeah, he will be back. Hundred percent. Mr. Shelby. Yeah. Thanks. Aw. Uh, G Small, what year is it in this game? I presume present day, so it'd be about 2010. Oh, oh. Oh. You're scared of anyone who kicks in a door uh, open right after you close it? I mean, yeah, I would be too. Still, though. An unassisted blindfold run? Ooh, I will not be doing that, that's for sure. Uh, achievement was White Knight for beating Troy. Right, press and hold the indicated button simultaneously. Oh, yes, who is this guy? I forgot about him. This is the dude with the goggles. Uh, Callie, I have played this, but it's been a long time. I do remember the ending. I know who the killer is. I'm not going to spoil it. But but yeah, this does look good for 2010. Now, this is the, the new PC version. I think it came out a few years ago. So it is better than the PS3 version. But still, though. Some long loading time still. I'm not going to spoil it. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it. Let's make sure folks who are watching this for the first time get to enjoy it. 
Uh, is it out on Xbox? I don't think it ever came out on Xbox, right? I know it's out on PlayStation and uh, and then was ported to PC. Oh, that's right. He's got the shakes. We gotta take whatever this future drug is. Uh, Robin, yes, this is the same creator that eventually did Detroit Become Human. This came out a few years before that. Uh, Ren, thanks for following. Okay, what's going on here? Am I a cop? I, I think I'm a cop. Please step back. Agent Nam and Jaden, FBI. Oh, you're FBI. Okay. a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Weston Frank, thank you for the uh, for the rose. And uh, Amber, thank you for the heart me. I, sorry, I missed that earlier. Apologies. Uh, okay, let's get a badge. Check. You can pass. You want to get like a hat or a rain jacket or something? I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. All right, well, can I go through, I presume? Seems so. Uh, Jeremy, your decisions do affect the outcome. Yes, you can. There, there are certain actions that you could take, especially as Ethan, that will uh, that will change the game. Also, kind of like Until Dawn, like characters can die and the story will go on. So it's one of those. Uh, Ivan, thanks for following. Oh, yeah, so he's got these crazy, like, AR goggles. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. It's pretty dark for 8.14 a.m., but I guess there's a bad storm going. Oh, is that the body? All right. Well, let's go see. The only thing with a tent over it, so that's probably it. You need another game like Until Dawn on the Quarry. Well, we're going to play all the Quantic Dream games here. Uh, so for the next couple weeks, you'll have it. Dude, Laura, I forgot it too. So you're you're in good company. Don't worry. I totally forgot this guy's name. Uh, Red, we just finished all the Dark Pictures Come anthology there. here. What are you doing? <clears throat> look, can I not, not look at the body? I gotta find you, Lieutenant Blake first. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden. Oh, well, that was easy. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Yeah. Aren't you clever? Yeah. Give me some pizza while you're at it. All right, Lieutenant Blake, are we gonna talk or what? Are you coming, Jaden? <clears throat> uh, Hearts and Steven, thank you both for following. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Or a gammy? Any news on a corner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour for fuck's sake. Some gabagool, yes. Uh, okay. So, witnesses. Any witnesses? None yet. Yeah, given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. How about cause? Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Like the others. Oh, uh, yes. I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got yeah. it? Yeah, Tony. Yes, Lieutenant. All right. Uh, time. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, it must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Okay. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. All right, let's take a look. Hey, Jade, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? All right. We're on the same team now. All right, let's see if we can find anything. Uh, where are my glasses at? Yeah, give me these. All right, so he's got like the the Apple Vision Pro on right now, and he's walking around a murder scene because because video games. Uh, all right, let's see. What is the RB for? Is that? Oh, ooh, that's cool. I can see everyone's footsteps. Seems like everyone's been walking all over this area. Maybe we do that closer to the body? We might see something of note. Let's see. What if I did this? Aha! 
the heck are this? You are... What's the prompt? There it is. Every comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Ah, okay. Well, that's no good. All right. Well, that seems... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something over there, too. What is this? Some kind of scent? Looks like an aroma in the air or something like that. Let's see. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Hmm. Seems important, potentially. What else we got going on over here? Uh, Trish Holland, thanks for following. Anyone? Okay, this we saw already. Oh, there was something over there. And over at the end, over by Blake. Let's see, what's going on? What are you? Uh, Henry, thanks for following. Oscar Dalzell. Bank manager. Divorced. No criminal record. Unrelated to the investigation. Well, then why was he here? Because this doesn't feel like the place where people hang out, especially not bank managers. Seems a little strange, right? It's been a while. I, I used to work at a bank. I don't, I don't know if I would trust any managers that hung out in a place like this. Harry County, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Okay. Anything we missed? We, let's go a little further out, maybe. Maybe over here. Aha! Couple of things. All right, what are you? Colin Smith, born March 30th, 1979. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Hmm. Alrighty. There's a hill that leads to a clue. Good to know. Uh oh. See here. Anything across the road? Probably not. Is there anything further down here? I thought there might have been. No, I guess not. All right. Lots of footprints. I don't know. Can I go this way? How far is the game going to let me go? Oh, well. We got something on the tracks. Can I reach them? Ah, there we go. Please tell me nothing's gonna come and get me. Ooh, are you a dead cat? That's probably not a dead clue. Cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Yeah, probably wouldn't be a good use of their uh, resources. Uh, about over here outside the perimeter, but you never know. Okay, so far we got the orchid. We have not looked at the actual body yet, Fabled Sup, but that's true. Ooh, we will eventually do that. Harry, come in. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Ooh, like that Bob Dylan album. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. And then we got something over here. A footprint. Probably not from the cops, I don't think. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. Oh. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Uh, we've got something here. Harry comment. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad. Is it the victims or the killers? Seems like we're going to make our way up. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be slippery. This is a QTE, isn't it? Yup, called it. Oh, we got 
got to keep going? All right. One would think you would use the glasses. All right. Why are you grunting like that? Hey, the guy up north. Yeah, this is the hill. All right. Let's keep on going. Yeah. Oh, man. This is freaking tense. I don't want to slip all the way down there. All right. Oh, poor Norman's suit is so wrecked. All right. Let's see what we can spot up here. Anything? Ooh, a lot of things. What are you? Same footprint that we found below, maybe? There's a good chance that they're the killers. Yeah, I gave day friends online the rain would definitely demolish the crime scene, which is probably why, well, it would be a good time to dump a body. I don't know why I would know that. I don't, that's, that's not a fact that I need to know in my life. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Okay, should we take the type of tires down maybe, anything? No, okay, all right. That seems like all we're going to find up here. Uh, we should probably go look at the body. Everyone knows that thanks to movies. Okay, well, I certainly hope you're right. All right, now we got to figure out how to get down from here. Ooh, without falling. Oh, God. Oh, this, this is going to suck. All right, all right. Jalen's got some balance. Or I do. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, we haven't looked at the body yet. Let's go see if this tells us anything. And other than that, we sh we're probably good to go report back to Blake now. I feel like we have some tangible stuff to tell him. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Ooh, okay, we got several clues. Um, let's try start with you. A little odd to do there we go, okay. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Hmm. Okay. That seems more important than the origami piece in his hand, but no, nah, fine. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The rain is really bad. It is really bad. Do I do anything with this? Declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Anything else? I think I've seen all there is to see. Alrighty. That sounds like the game telling me to go find Blake. There he is. Hey, Blake. I did your job for you. I'm heading back to the office. You stay in. Uh, no. What does leave? Leave is us. I'm leaving too. All right, let's roll. I'm gonna take these off. So I can just see around here. Let's see. Is it raining outside yet? Not yet. No. Soon. The next hour or so it's supposed to be. We'll be getting some heavy rain here, and hopefully that is the only thing my city has in this common with in common with this game right now. Uh, oh yes, let's go down there. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Wow, sucks to be everyone involved in this. Let's go. <laughs> it is. I'm actually I'm in San Francisco, Dick Smith, but uh, but yeah, it is kind of funny that there's heavy rain today. Or there will be. It's still sunny out for now. Alright, is that the scene or do I have to drive? That seems like the scene since we're panning up. Alrighty, out we go. Okay, so we learned a little bit about the origami killer. Not enough to... I unlocked a new bonus. What would that bonus be? I don't know. To, to get a chance to look way too close at Ethan's face. 
Ooh, okay. Are we Rorschach testing? Bat, insect, or butterfly? I'm going to go bat. It's a bat. That is a fox. A fox. Uh, that's a crab. That's definitely a crab. A crab. Uh, that looks like death to me. Death. Death. That's a... Quite the psychiatrist's office you got there, Ethan. Why does it say ego on the thing? That's... Everyone's got to have a decorating scheme, I guess. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything oh. seems to be normal. Oh, I doubt that. Damage from the accident. Okay, well, that maybe. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. Yeah, me too. And Sean's. No, it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Uh, Ethan... It was an accident. I know you feel that way, but it was a crowded mall, man. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. Your son ran off. And that sucks, but that... How is Sean? Ugh. That doesn't mean it's your fault. Uh, he is, I think, distant is fair to say. He's a solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? Yeah, what do you feel? Um, I think he feels... I'm not a dead is too morbid. I'm gonna go depressed. I'm no longer one to live. I, I mean, I didn't say... Whoa. I have no reason to continue. You have another son, Ethan. For your son. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I couldn't save Jason. Yeah. Sean doesn't need a father like me. He also probably landed on the kid. Maybe. <coughs> yeah, you dying is not going to help him. Wanted to tell me, Ethan? I guarantee you, you are not doing him a favor by dying. Uh, ooh, yeah, blackouts. I sometimes have these blackouts. I'm feeling terror right now. Times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later. But I'm someplace else. And I have no idea how I got there. D do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. I was in a coma for six months? Holy crap. What effect a shock like that can have on the brain. Can I go sit down over here? Yeah, I can. That's the end of this session. Oh. We'll continue this conversation. He's got a clock just like Lauren Winter did. Yeah, this big ego sign. What is the point of that? It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. Oh, I don't know if he's surviving. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Yeah, probably not. Well, good sesh. Four ten. A little bit of rain going, about a little under an inch. Yeah, how's school? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. Oh. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. Well, that seems counterproductive. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? Okay. Uh, you hungry? Do you want to eat something? Hmm? No. You want to play? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just sit here and we, we can mope together. I don't know. I don't want to ask you about a problem. I'm kind of like, well, I may as well. Is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Yeah, really selling me, Sean. Good job. All right, well... Let's go play together, then. How about I get on the seesaw? You want to do that? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, him being a kid. All right. Yeah, let's do this. Hop on. Okay, you're on that side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, Dad. Make me 
fly. Ooh, okay, let's see how how high we can get him. I don't want to make him fly necessarily, because I already lost one kid. But oh, okay, alright, he's actually happy for a moment. This is nice. Oh, and there's a little rainbow in the background. That's a nice touch. Oh, he deserves this. They both do. <laughs> there you go, now you're flying. Okay, what else? Uh, that was fun. Do we want a merry-go-round it, maybe? Oh, cats with lasers. We already did that. Jason is uh, no longer with us. I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! Peter Von Cheese, there's a speed run where you do nothing whatsoever in the beginning. I didn't know that. That's great. Oh, man. All right, yeah, hop on. All right, we're going to see if we can uh, if we can spin, how fast we can spin him. Let's go. All right. Oh, I used to love doing this as a kid. Yeah, if you don't get sick by the end of it, you didn't really do it. Come on, let's go. All right, let's see if we can... Tire Ethan out. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Faster, faster. Cats with lasers, thanks for following. Well, hello to you too, Kay. And Boro, how are you? There he goes. Okay, can't catch him any longer. Aw, I'm glad they're having a nice day. There we go. Okay. All right. Good. Good. He really did it then. What are we doing next? A swing? Well, we can treat me all right. Uh, let's see. What did I do? Went on a nice run this morning. Got brunch. Knocked out a few adult things. And now I'm here hanging out with you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. You're not done yet. Why don't we do the swings? Let's keep this going. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Oh, thanks, Kay. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, too. It's been a while since I played this. It's been fun to revisit it so far. All right. And let's get him up high, and boom. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see if we can get him to do, like, a, do a 180. I used to love to do, like, jump as high as I could off these things. It's probably not very good for me, but that's all right. I never got too hurt. I'm still alive. Live to tell the tale. Oh, good to have you back, Mecha Slurpee. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, Mecha Slurpee, thank you for the heart me. Thank you. All right. Is it time to leave? All right, we better get going. Okay, well, if the rain's coming, yeah, we should probably not be out here. I think we better go. Yeah. Okay. Let's get back there. Come on. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Yeah. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. I suppose I do too, bud. Too, Sean. Me too. Yeah. Are we go Wait, where are you going? Are we okay, I'm following you, which is good parenting, I guess. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he, he also didn't say his name right. You have to say Jason. Otherwise, I don't know who you're talking about. Used to hold on to the chain and act like Tarzan. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Oh, sure. why Go not? Get on. I'll get a ticket. Okay, do I do I get a ticket from the snack guy or from somewhere else? No. Who sells tickets? Oh, the booth. Okay. Why aren't I playing my game? What game is that? Period. One, please. That's the dollar. There you go. Oh, Kevin. Yeah, right. Uh, Kevin's... Oh God, I don't... Streaming Kevin would be tough because you'd literally have to decode a language to play the game. Hey, Jaden. Oh, man. Uh, what did you miss? Well, 
This is Ethan. Ethan is having blackouts. He's not doing so well after uh, one of his two sons died. He is hanging out with the other one right now and occasionally has these blackouts. And sometimes he doesn't really know where he goes, but he ends up uh, with a piece of origami in his hand. Yeah, just like this. Whoa! That was close. I missed that one. You were at the zoo today and it was a disaster? What happened at the zoo? We're still we're back at Carnaby Corner, same place as before. Alyssa, am I on uh, YouTube? I am. So if you go to uh, if you go to my TikTok bio um, and then click on the YouTube link, you can come over and uh, watch in full screen with us on YouTube if you like. Stop! Okay, am I yelling for... Sh yeah, where is Sean? Because I was with him a moment ago. Is he over here? I'm not sure where I'm running off to, but okay. He has bad luck with cars. He does. Is there... Oh, it is very late. This is like three hours later. You blacked out and what, walked off? Yeah, you ain't here, bud. You should probably go home. I guarantee you, he didn't hang out for three hours in the rain. Does that say Dead End Street? That is a hell of a street name. Sean, you here? Uh-oh. Are you upstairs? Did you just put yourself to bed, maybe? No? Crap. Okay. Now there's a real problem we gotta deal with. Hey, Kristen! You had to walk half a mile to the zoo. You had trouble with tickets. People wouldn't move. Oh, I'm sorry, Jaden. Yep. It's down two kids. Well... Shoot, bud. Oh, you do have the origami in your hand. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh, Ethan, buddy. Yeah, Fable, stop losing kids indeed. Oh, that's just... All right, all right. We're going to do a little bit of that. Ugh. I've unlocked a new bonus. Now I'm going to look at Nam and Jaden. Father of the year indeed, Alyssa. Just, uh, okay, we still don't... Yeah, we're not quite sure where Sean is, but... He did care for his kid, Kay, that's true. I mean, he blacked out. It's not like he, he took off for, like, no reason. Mecha Slurpee, thank you for subscribing on TikTok. Thank you so much. Good to have you here. Uh, all right. Now you're happy you get to watch my le one of my live streams. Oh, thank you, Jaden. <laughs> all right, I don't know what, what bonuses I unlocked. Can I do anything while this is going on, or I just look at these faces? First kid, not his fault. Second kid, well, I mean... We still don't know the, the cause of his blackouts, but he's not doing them on purpose or anything, but they're clearly getting worse. He should probably maybe not be responsible for young children right now. He even had a dollar to pay for the ride. Some deadbeats don't have that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what does take long? it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Callie, thanks for following. It probably is PTSD, I mean, Poor guy. I feel for him. All right, well, let's hang out in this muddy suit from earlier. Can I stand up, maybe? No? Okay, that's just... Can I put my... Yeah, let's put the glasses on. Have some fun. Oh, that's right. He has little video games on this. I forgot. Where's the mom? Uh, so they are divorced, I believe. And so, mom has them on the weekend. Alright, it's a pitching game. I think. Oh, it's one of these. Alright. Fun way to pass the time. You probably look insane to everybody else. Yup. Especially in 2010. Like, now I think people might not bat an eye about that, but, like, back then people would think you're nuts. Okay, Jaden. Cool. Thanks for, uh, for checking that on the, on the, uh, the tablet there. You never see your kids. You don't have any, but still. Yeah, I don't see my in, in, imaginary kids either, Mecha Slurpee. Ugh. <laughs> uh, all right. Well... 
Still not much we can do. I guess, uh... There we go. This is Blake. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Right here. Hi. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. Well, good. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can Where are we going? As we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but... Uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. Oh, what you talking about? Believe me, it's... Oh, probably about the origami killer. Fortunately, today we have some news. About the dead kid? Have you met... Lieutenant Fortunately? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? <laughs> this is the hardest thing, man. To be frank with you, I, I hate ties. On this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case. Crap. I do appreciate this is actually the correct way to tie a tie. Well, that what? There, there we are. Hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. There we are. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. Oh, I don't know why this guy's just walking into him. The rest of it, it's none of my business. All right. No. Of course not. Could have been an email indeed. I'm asking is hey, Dada. Make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Oh, let's find him then. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, I did all right. Yeah, seriously, who was that guy? Go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Okay. Check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Ooh. Sir? My day was good, Jaden. How? Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. This is, uh, yeah, his last name is Jaden as well in the game. Uh, let's see here. Let's go check out the press conference. I want to see this before I go to my office. Show me the political climate around here. Let's see if it's going to start anytime soon. There he is. The body. Oh, thanks, Jaden. Good to have you. Was found this morning. Yeah. On a patch of wasteland. Luckily, we have something to tell the press. Five days after he was reported missing, an autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death. But going from first indications. It would seem that he drowned. The state Drought, thanks for following. ...suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming... Do I have kids? No, I do not, Dada. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. What you got? Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. Mm. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. Nah. <laughs> no, I guess they never did find the Zodiac Killer. For the moment, the killer may think he's involved. Uh, hey, Gio. Uh, yes, this is a choice game again. We'll, well ish. There are some choices involved. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Uh, nothing like that. He has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murder. Yeah, I love him too, Gio. Uh, the Zodiac Killer he, it was a thing in uh, here in the Bay Area, actually, where I live. Um, it was like, uh, I want to say late 70s, early 80s, uh, was a... Uh, uh, serial killer. There's a there's a really good movie uh, by David Fincher who did uh, the Social Network. He did Fight Club and a couple other good ones. Uh, that kind of goes into it. Uh, and he was never caught. I don't think you know. There's always every now and then like some investigation that thinks it was this person or that person. But just about everyone who's a suspect is either elderly or long dead. So fact is they're never gonna know for sure who the Zodiac killer was. 
but he was like one of the first people to like really first serial killers to really taunt the press. He was that guy to be like he used to send um yeah, Ted Cruz. It was potentially I think Ted Cruz is a little young to be the uh the Zodiac killer. Not that he's not capable of murder cuz that guy, oof. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. Aww. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Mm, yeah, I'm good. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I, I don't have any chance. Okay. But yeah, he was one of the first ones to, like, taunt the press and really appreciate the attention he was getting and all that. And so, uh, does anyone actually like Ted Cruz? Uh, some people do. He keeps getting elected. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Ted Cruz is probably responsible for more deaths than the Zodiac Killer. M indirectly so? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. Let's go find my office. Oh, I don't know if I needed a whole walk ten feet to my office, but oh, what the... What is this place? This is my office? That's Your office? To take you. Says office on the door. You know where to find me. You got to vote against him once when you lived in Texas. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. He's something. Who do I think was the Zodiac Killer? I have no idea. That was before my time. <laughs> but because they never found him, because I grew up in the Bay Area, so he was always still like. Like, uh, like the boogeyman, uh, when I was in elementary school was the kids would, would, would sort of talk about him. I don't, that's not productive, but okay, sure, Norman, whatever. Um, there we go. So, yeah, there was always, like, that was always, like, the, because, like, he threatened at one point, I think, to run over kids on Halloween. And granted, this was now many years after the fact is when I was a kid and heard that story. But of course, like that was always something like, you know, people always told you to watch out for like every year because he was never caught. Right. So, um, so you never knew if he was going to come back around. Unless a year in Texas and never vote for him. You don't like him. Well, I'm in California. We also don't like him. So <laughs> at least we've got that in common. Where in Texas are you, Alyssa? Step one. Change the office. Well, let's do that. Maple Leaf. We're going to go to Canada. Apparently. Or... Or space. Or whatever the heck. The clouds. Or the ocean. Let's go to the ocean. Well, that's neat. Don't like you. Oh, uh, we're talking about uh, Ted Cruz, uh, Jaden. He's a uh, he's a senator from Texas, and he's uh, uh, not generally liked, but he keeps getting elected. North Central Texas. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, let's look at clues. We got tire tracks. Analyze. It's weird how this was like I played this in 2010. Oh, probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. And this was like totally space age tech at the time and it's weird how it's like now here we are like nearly 15 years after this game came out and we're not here yet but you can see the path to getting to this thing, you know? Okay, geo analysis. No data. Fine. Well, that didn't help. All right, let's go over to the little origami figure. L.A. Noir was really good too. Hey, Duchess. Specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. It's been a minute since I've uh, played L.A. Noir. I, I wouldn't mind going back and redoing it though. We might do that sometime. Uh, okay, we've got the orchid. This feels like a good lead. You can you can get orchids places, but they're not super common. common well, this one's common, I guess. That doesn't help much. Okay, kind of feel like can I? I don't suppose I can geo analyze. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. You heard about them because you live in Texas. Oh, cool. 
Yep, he would be one of your two senators. Okay, can I geo-analyze? Uh, probably not. Just one origami store in town. There's an origami store? Oh, well. He may- the killer may also know how to fold those things themselves, but... Fine. Uh, what about files? He would totally look crazy, uh, World, War World 2 is cringe. I keep wanting to say World War II is cringe. I, I have to stop myself every time I say your name. Uh, okay, Origami Killer Victims. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, age between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. You live near Fort Worth. Oh, cool. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Oh, so he waits until the rainy season. Interesting. Okay. Alright. I don't suppose geoanalysis is going to tell us. Well, it could tell us about the victim locations. Okay, they're kind of everywhere. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Uh, afraid not. All right, modus operandi. So how does he do it? Ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims of is Jason British. I don't found. think so, but I think this was a French studio, so like, this takes place in America, but they clearly got some of the details wrong. Five hundred people questioned. Over one hundred suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Well, just like, you know, if I was in a studio and I was trying to recreate France, for instance, I would get some stuff wrong, too, you know? Uh, yes, this is the same group that would eventually make uh, Detroit become human. They made that a couple years after this. We're going to play Detroit Become Human as well. All right, nothing else here. Uh, environment. Oh, that's the environment of the office. Nah, I like that. I like the undersea. Onto the sea. Onto the sea, darling, it's better down where it's what to take it from me. Nope, nothing there. Alright, I think we got everything then. Let's close Ari. What about Indigo Prophecy? Ooh, I haven't thought about Indigo Prophecy in forever. Um, God, I haven't played that in so freaking long. I don't know if anyone's going to remember Indigo Prophecy, except for me and you, apparently. Yep. I gotta go wash my face. Oh yeah, that's right. He's getting, he gets these weird shakes. So Ethan, I'm gonna faint if I resist. All right, so Ethan gets blackouts. Scott has amnesia. I know. I can. And he has. I know I can. Some kind of weird like drug addiction, to whatever this is. Take trypto. Yeah. Just a girl. Thanks for following. Uh, what are we playing tomorrow? We're going to finish this one up, Jaden. This is like a 10-hour game, I think. So we'll get about halfway done today. Oh, did I say amnesia? Yes, Eater. I, I meant asthma. Excuse me. I Thank you. No, Scott does not have amnesia. That I know of. Have I played Beyond Two Souls? No, but we're doing that next weekend. So I have Beyond Two Souls and I've never played it. And I felt like this would be a good time right after Heavy Rain. Then we'll do Detroit Become Human uh, the following week. Oh, Ethan's here. Okay. Courtney, thanks for following. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marshall. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel. So I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back... I like Beyond Two Souls. Cool. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, mister. It was 4.10-ish or so. It was 4.10 when we... Okay, what time did we arrive? Let's say 4.15. 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. I think it was... I think it was... 
beige, I want to say. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Well, I hope so. Uh, let's see. Were they... Beige pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Excellent question. By the carousel? Uh, let's see. I... Stay at the carousel. I, I did. I, I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean and... possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? Well... No, I don't understand. It was brown pants? Ah, oh, well. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact... Oh, excellent question, coppers. Um... Searched. Yeah. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. I mean, to be fair, you would want to do that before calling the police. You know, you could probably just find him running around being a kid. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... ...was on the news every day now? ...just run off and will turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well... Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh, that's comforting, Blake. You're not wrong, but still. See, officer, this wasn't even my favorite kid. Oh, God. That's terrible. I love it. It's terrible. All right. Is this... Oh, that's, oh, that's Grace. That's uh, Ethan's wife. Something? Presumably ex-wife now. No. They're at least separated. They're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... Do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say. What time is it here, Robin? It's uh, almost 3 p.m. Uh, here in California. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? I mean, I'm getting really good at losing my, uh, my kids. Uh, who's the origami killer? We don't know yet, Jaden. Child in the park. Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Whoa, hey now. That's a little harsh. Sorry. Yeah. It's not what I meant to say. Yeah, you want to try that again, maybe? She's talking in cursive and British a little bit. What are you going to do about it? Divorce me twice? Oh, ouch. Time zones are so crazy to you. Where are you, Robin? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Well, they're a ton of fun. Oh, the Netherlands. Cool. Almost 11 p.m. for you. Oh, thanks for staying up with me. Okay, we're really close to Scott now. You might want to get some of those moles checked out, Scott. Melanoma is not a joke. No, we're just going to be up close on you. All right, that's fine. All right. Liquor store, 952. One and a half inches of rain. Definitely coming down. What did Scott do to me? Nothing. It's just a long loading time. He needs some eye drops. He needs, probably needs another inhaler. Don't know if he's going to get that here. Oh, look Look at you being all classy. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Clocks go forward for you tomorrow. Oh, neat. We uh, we went forward a few, a few, <laughs> a few weeks ago. I have nothing more to say. Oh, another victim of the origami killer. This is... Let's sympathize. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, this is so messed up for... All right. Um, let's see. How about... You may know something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. I do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Save Sean. Okay, we'll do save Sean. Oh. Do you sell inhalers? I, I called it. I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. All right, let's get some inhalers. All right, well, I can understand him not to... 
Ooh, why, I don't know why there's ships laying about, but all right. I could understand why he'd be a little reluctant to talk, but he could help save somebody else. Selling medicine at a gas station. They, they typically have some kind of like first aid, but it's like bandages and such. Oh, you're going to rob the place, aren't you? You're definitely going to rob the place. Looking for something We're about to get another fight? Yeah, your money. Give me what you got in the register. Uh, oh, he's got the druggy twitch going on, too. All right, all right, all right. Chill out, meth head. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Okay, now where are those chips? Are you going to open that fucking register? Uh, okay, this is not the chip aisle. Good. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. Oh. Very hard oh, dude, don't die for whatever's in the register. What did you say? Give him the money mind, and keep your life. You get it, do you? I'm going to put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask okay, now, all right. We're going to have to keep moving. Press, goddamn idiot. Open the register. Turn around. Don't make me fucking kill you. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Uh oh. Oh, that is real gutsy. <laughs> You might. W Would you take the gun from him, Scott? Please, because he's gonna wake up. Thank you, sir. Ooh. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, at least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor. Yes, don't do drugs, indeed. I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Oh. Inside the locker, I found this box. Okay. What's I in the box? What it means. But I think it must be a sort of message. He stuffed in the back of his coat. Did he? I hope so. I hope the guy still doesn't have his gun. He leaves and the guy wakes up and continues the robbery. Yeah, right. Uh, what do we got? Uh, it's an origami lizard. Fantastic. Take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. You're learning Dutch and Russian. Oh, neat. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. <laughs> Man. Well, okay, he did take the gun. All right, good. They animated it, so not realizing that the coat wouldn't allow him to access his pants. All right, well, at least we stopped a robbery. I feel good about that. You waiting for the gunshot as he leaves? Yeah, right. Press the indicate. Oh, Madison. We haven't seen Madison yet. She's our fourth playable character. If I remember right, kind of like Ethan, like... David Cage games have always been a little criticized for, like, how they handle women. So I think, like, Madison is always, like, naked at every opportunity. Which probably means I have to cut the video again for TikTok in a bit. So I apologize. Yeah, because she's, like, in the bathtub now, isn't she? I don't know which is watching on TV, but... Oh, no, okay, she's asleep. Got a great apartment, though. Dang, what do you do for a living, Madison? Are they hiring? I'd love to live in this place. Uh, let's see. Let's maybe turn off the TV. I don't think you're watching anything of note here. There we go. Okay, let's get up. Looks like I passed out on the couch. Does Madison know there's a camera watching her? As in, we're watching her? Probably not. Hot drink. Uh, let's see, insomnia. Insomnia? Yeah, that sucks. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. You're learning German, Spanish, and French? Wow. Uh, yeah, maybe hot drink. Hot drink is what I need. Yeah, let's get maybe some... Uh, some warm water or something like that. Maybe some tea. Where is my kitchen? That is my... Bedroom. Kitchen is over here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, are you... Something we can warm up? We got some water. Ah, 
Yeah, sure, why not? Not a hot drink, but it better not be. Why does she strut around like a model? Um, unfortunately, yeah, like I said, David David Cage games always kind of portray some of their lady characters like this, where they're just, yeah, strutting around like this. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got some tea. Next session, you're learning Japanese. You're so done. Yeah. All right, we'll let that warm up. Uh, what else we got? Go to bed, shower, pills. Well, let's let's have some hot tea first. I'm going to maybe avoid the shower scene just so I can not get kicked off of TikTok again. Unless, I don't know if it's mandatory. We'll see. All right, let's see here. Is that enough to go to bed? Maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. Yeah, let's do that. You think it's mandatory, Kay? Let's find out. If we have to, we have to. But just so you know, TikTok, I will have to cut the game feed for you guys because I don't want to get booted again. You can come over to YouTube and watch it if you like. Let's see. Is that enough? Can you sleep now? Oh, you are still wide awake, aren't you? Uh-oh. Somebody's watching her. That's what it seems like. With all those windows, though, it'd be hard to watch her without her seeing you. No, nope, I'm still wide awake. Okay. Okay, nope, still awake. Uh, let's see, how about pills? I shouldn't take those damn pills again. No? Okay, no pills for me. Alright, I guess I do have to take a shower. Alright, uh, let's see. Shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Alright, so TikTok, what I'm gonna do when the shower scene starts is I'm gonna cut the video feed for you guys. If you would like to watch, feel free to go to my, uh, TikTok profile, uh, TikTok bio and click on the YouTube link. You can come on over, but I don't want to risk getting banned off of TikTok again. Uh, let's see. Where is my shower? If I can find my shower. Is it over here? Are you my bathroom? You are. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Is that a changing area or the shower? That is... Nope. no, nope, That's where the toilet is. What do we got over here? It's like industrial space? I haven't seen... This is like a freaking chemical shower or something. All right, let's see. Do we have to... Yep, okay. All right, I'm going to do that. Sorry, TikTok. Uh, yes, but if you'd like to watch, uh, I'm, I'm going to keep keep going. And um, Okay, yep, there's some boobs. All right. Uh, and yes, yeah, so if you would like to uh, come on over and watch uh, on uh, YouTube, you can. I'm going to... I'll put it back on once the nudity stops, but she is still very much in the shower right now. All righty. Yeah, this is a great place. Oh, man. Even if, like, this big open thing of showers makes it seem like it was probably part of a factory or something. Not you changing over from TikTok to see this. I mean, you know, it's it's part of the story. I get it, but it's like, I don't know. Does she have roommates? I do not think so. No, I think Madison seems to be doing pretty well for herself, whatever she's doing. All right, let's see. All right, she's... Getting, she's putting her clothes back on now, I think. Well, she's she's just got a towel on. Give me a second. Let me just make sure so I don't get in trouble again. Alyssa, you came over from TikTok, too. All right, well, welcome to it. You get to check out Madison's shower scene. You've been here the whole time. Yes, Jaden, you've been here the whole time. That's okay. It's uh, That's part of the game, you know. All right, and then you got to put your pants back on. Okay, now we're good. All right, now we, now we can bring that back. All right. She's a journalist, if you remember correctly. If she's a journalist, she's making bank as a journalist. I don't know how the hell any journalist is able to afford this place. She has great rent control. Ooh, my fridge is open. Was my fridge open because I left it open? I don't think I opened the fridge. That's not good.
Huh, Nepo baby. Maybe. Maybe she comes from friendly money. It's possible. Or, you know, maybe, like, she seems to be, like, you know, maybe somebody re redid the place for her, you know? Maybe she knows somebody who uh, who remodeled the place. Tough to say. Ooh, someone's here. Uh-oh. <sighs> Oh, someone is definitely here. There's someone here. Yeah, there There's is. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front Ooh, door. Can you make it? It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Uh, go for the front door. Definitely the front door. Not the phone. Who knows how long it'll take for the cops to get here. Oh, don't slam yourself into it, though. That's... The... What? Why is your own front door... I guess maybe he locked it or something. Ow. Well, he's a klutz. Wait, is there a second one? Are there two people or did he just get behind her? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God, I missed that one. I cannot tell if there's two of them. No, there are two. All right. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that's a bad spot. Okay, you, I guess. Ow! Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, well, crap. This is not good. Okay. Um. Oh. Everybody's house is getting wrecked in this game. Going for the TV? That's a little TV. That's not going to do much damage to him. Ow. I don't... F oh, that's... Oh, God. I hope this is a bad dream for the everyone's sake. Especially hers. Uh, that bathroom's a dead end. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know if there's a way out, but... Uh, that was probably not the move. Oh, God. Okay, this has to be a dream, right? There can't be this many people. Yeah, I called it. All right. Whew. Okay. Okay. Well, then. Oh, that was close. All right. Girl did some karate. Yeah, sorry, I missed a bunch of stuff. Mike Tyson him. Yeah, right. All right, back to Ethan. We have unlocked a new bonus, but I still don't know what these bonuses are. I wonder if they're like character models or stuff like that. You would have insomnia too. Yeah, Duchess, after all that, I totally would. I'm trying to remember. There's two other parts where there's nudity in this game, and I'm trying to remember where it is. I think Edith, Ethan and Madison start dating at one point. All right. So this is everybody hanging out outside Ethan's house. There he is, just passed out at the dining room table. I mean, I probably wouldn't be doing too great either in Ethan's shoes, but that's a little... Oof. Ethan's isn't mandatory. Okay, yeah, Ethan's, like, he had a mandatory scene earlier, but I don't think, I think the other ones are all optional, or I thought so, but then it looked like it was not going to let me move on without taking a shower, so. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Well, that's not ominous at all. Uh, see, I can't see your username. Thank you for following. Is there anything? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to presume that's from the origami killer or whoever took my son. Probably the origami killer. Locker ticket. Uh-oh. Oh, that's familiar. I guess we'll go get our piece of origami. Get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. 
Okay, but there's people outside, so if we can slip out the back, that would be ideal. And we got an alley. Girl needs to put some pants on. Yeah, right? All right. Let's just do a quick little sneak through the neighbor's yard. No big deal. I'm just that creepy guy who lives next door. Don't worry about me. It's my first time playing. No, okay, I have played this before, but it's been a long time. I think I played this, like, back at launch. I think it's got the DLC content in it, though, which is good, because the DLC content is, uh... It's integrated in the main game, and it's actually a pretty good little sequence. It's one of my favorites. Does he drive a stick? In America? Really? Like, those exist, but... They're kind of rare. Alright. Do I remember who the killer is? Yes, I do. And I'm, I'm not mentioning it, but it is interesting going back and replaying this knowing who the killer is. So please, if you have played this before, please don't mention it in chat for the folks who haven't seen it yet. Uh, we're in the train station. Oh boy. You're gonna wake up at Carnaby Corner with an origami figure in your hand, Ethan? Are you leaving notes for yourself, maybe? Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just oh yeah, you probably wouldn't like crowds after uh, what happened to Jason. Ugh, shoot. Okay, it's gonna be all right, Ethan. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're just gonna go open a locker. I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. <sighs> okay. Do you have any anxiety meds or something? Maybe you might want to take. If you haven't yet. Hey, Heather Jernigan, how are you? We are making our way through heavy rain. Ethan Mars here is having a very difficult couple of days. Well, it's about, been about two years between them, but it's been a tough couple of, uh, well, it's been a tough life for him. He is going to pick up, potentially, a message from the person who kidnapped his son. Oh, thanks. I'm good, too. Doing better than Ethan, anyway, that's for sure. Everyone paused. Ethan suffers from these blackouts, and his he has two sons. One of them is already definitely dead. Dad. Oh, and that's probably him. Dad. Where's that balloon? It's got to be here. Called it. We all float down here, Ethan. Dad, what There's Jason. Jason was his, his son who is... Jason! Yeah, de definitely dead. However, Sean has been kidnapped and is not necessarily dead yet, but doesn't have much time. Oh, Jaden, it was a ton of fun going to New York. I had a great time. Thanks for asking. Jason! Dad! Oh, oh, he can disappear, huh? Jason! Where are you? Come here. All right, where's the locker section? It was over here a second ago. Uh, let's see. Can I... Oh, uh, okay, there's the lockers. Or are they... Or are they here? Jason! And we're not looking for Jason. We're gonna go get the luggage tag. Now the game wants me to look for Jason. Fine. Dad. That's how to handle a crowd. Just ragdoll all of them. I mean, it's efficient. It'll get you where you need to go quickly. Jason! Where are you? Come on. Take a shot every time he yells Jason. You would die, Mary. Don't do that. <laughs> because I care about you. Please do not do that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, poor dude. Oh, it's like haunting him. Oh, he's got to look so weird. Probably not the weirdest guy in the train station, but still. Well, you made it across the station, dude. At least there was that. Luggage lockers. All right. Uh, did I go through here? Guess so. Okay, now where's my... Line 18, box number 3. Line 18, box 3. Okay. Not sure why this requires a security guard, but okay. Line 18. 
Box three. 11, 12. 15. 16. 19. What the hell? Did I miss it? Or is it back there? Okay, 19. And from 17 to 19. What the? There we go. 918. Box number three. It was a little, uh, a little pennywisey, yeah. Train station. <laughs> That's great. Okay, what do we have here? We got a shoebox, just like uh, the other guy had for his son. Uh, Scott Shelby met with uh, one of the the fathers of the kids who was drowned, who received one of these, and it had some origami figure in it. So theoretically, this will too. I don't remember what's in here. We're not going to see it? All right. Crossroad Motel. Who's living in a motel? Room 207. Is it Jaden, maybe? No, it's Ethan. Doesn't want to stay in that house, maybe? I can see that. Still, though, he doesn't have a ton of money, it seems. I don't know if he wants to blow that on a hotel when he could live at home. Uh, VIP, leave home without being spotted by the journalist and lucky locker. Get it on the lucky one on the first try. All right, got some achievements. Do I open up this box? Because I feel like I kind of have to. Like, I understand I don't want to, but, like, the plot demands it. Yeah, he's trying to avoid the press. And the I get that, but it's like... They can't come into your house. You already snuck out of there. Ooh, what do we got? Oh! A lot more stuff. I wonder if the other guy lied. About everything he got. He got one of those green lizards and that's it. Ethan's got some props now. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. An SD card and a gun. Huh. Uh, I feel like the gun would be what I would look at first. Like, that's not... I did not expect that. Is it loaded? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, somebody wants me to have a gun. You thought it was their pet bird? It kind of looks like their old pet bird, Merlin. Okay, so this is a one. Is this a clue, I presume? It's got to be. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. And a parking pass. Well, I guess so. Um, all right. What is on the SD card? I presume this isn't anything I'm going to want to see. Oh, Sean's in the grates. Sean, where are you? Oh, that's so messed up. Oh. So cold. Dad. <sighs> Oh, that sucks! How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Oh, God. Yeah, this is where it turns into Saw. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. All right. Gotcha. Okay, so if I pass all five trials, I get the address of where to save Sean. Well... Yeah, I would take that. Probably not gonna. That's not great. <laughs> All fabled stuff. That that was a that was a good one. I like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, you should probably hide that. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to the parking garage. Not sure what I'm gonna do there, but apparently I need to have a gun at some point. You hope I get the good ending? I hope so too, Dada. I don't think I've done anything to get me a bad ending yet, but we'll see. Do I think he's being watched? Probably, Reese. Alright, back to Jaden. At least they're loading faster now. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. 
Oh, interesting. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Oh, I'm sure that makes it all fine then. And where does all that get us? Blake, why are you so... All right, let's just be calm. Clover, thanks for following. With his behavior. That may be true and not. Oh, Reese, your World War II is cringe. Cool, good to see you. Continue, Jaden. Uh, geo profiling. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. Okay. And what size is this uh, zone? Probably pretty big. Blake, why are you so snarky? About 10 square mile. Well, okay, it's not helpful, but it's Great. something. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. Yeah, well, it's more than you have. It's a start. Let's still be calm. The clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. Unless you have anything else you want to say, Lieutenant Blake. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? Means that... All the victims were drowned in rainwater. Yeah. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the and sky. He figures out how much rainwater there's going to be so he knows how long it'll take him to drown. Yep the less time the victim has to live. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Well, sure. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. What, what are you... The killer's out there somewhere. We what do you suggest we do? And find them. I'm helping you narrow it down. Okay, let's, just, let's reason. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your fast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? What the hell? Okay, no. All right, I'm still gonna keep I calm. Here to find a killer. And I'd like to blow up on him. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? Uh, three days? The weather forecasts are right. Less than 72 hours. Okay. Well, we better, uh, we better get to it. You know it's in the game, but just reminds you of your name. Like, what the- Yeah, seriously, Jaden. I guess his first name is Norman, his last name no is Jaden. We waste our time coming here. It seems ineffective. I mean, it seems like- have a little look inside anyway. It'd be unpredictable, right? I mean, how often is the rain forecast wrong? Well, that's one way. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. I'm sure it's not, but okay. Call the cops. But- yeah, I guess we weren't going to get anywhere doing it the legal way, so, you know, fine. Oh, wow. Um, that's a hobby. You know, everyone needs one. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Yeah, I would yeah, say that. You're an idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance. Wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 there's pills on top of there. Said he heard voices. You question everybody who rants in the park? In his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I okay, he's got a bunch of vitamins. Real twisted. Be careful with this. Okay, all right, we can do that. What else is going on here? Ooh. Plot twist is the weatherman is the killer? Yeah, right? Anything here? Got a glass of milk and a what I presume is a Bible with a rosary. All right. This is an autographed picture of Jesus. 
Oh, no, it's a cloud. All right. Oh, what the hell? I don't know what you just broke in there. Just more books. Fine. Uh, I said holy water. Oh, could be. Oh, God. This place is a quite the uh, quite the little museum of insanity here. All right. <laughs> it just sounds weird. Sorry, Jaden. Uh, anything in here we could see? More pills. Are these supplements? There? No, those are prescriptions, whatever they are. Alright. We haven't been in here yet. Are you a bathroom? You're a bathroom. More pills? A whole heck of a lot of pills. Some vitamins, though. Some supplements. Fine. Alright. What's this? Dirty dishes in the sink? Fine. Doesn't mean he's a serial killer. Well, did we find anything? Oh. Oh, he's here. Probably understandably confused. Oh, hi. Uh... Blake, are you just gonna let him sneak up on me? Timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. Well, Blake might be. Uh, let's see. Maybe I would start with an alibi. Nathaniel. Do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Wow. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about his arrest. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. Yeah, you look real innocent. Because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. Something tells me that's not why you were arrested. No. There's definitely something else. Uh, do you have an occupation? Do you have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. You know, no would have sufficed as an answer. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? There's no one with 300 crosses is then says, <laughs> yeah, right? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Yeah, don't I presume. know who talks to you. I mean, he's praying. Presumably, God is talking back to him. Speak that name. What does he say to you, Blake, Nathaniel? what are you doing? I can't talk about it. Oh. Talk about well, it. who, who, well, hang on, hang on. Orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? I'd like he to... Needs more and more. I'd like to know what Blake is on about. Let's let him, let's let him go for a minute. No, you mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. Who? He told you to go and find that kid in the park. The voices tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't... Don't choke him. Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? Whoa, whoa, Blake, hey. I mean, you already broke a couple laws today, but, like, that's... You are the oh. Okay, this just got real intense. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. Don't shoot, right? You'll... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's reassure. Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Uh, psychology? Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Is that gonna work? Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's listen. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. 
Christ our powerful, defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire, and may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls. Okay. Okay, okay, bud. Okay, the great speech. Great speech. Let's reassure him. To get rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Is that gonna work? Let's back off. Back away. Slowly. Do that. Okay. Put the gun on the bookshelf. Or drop it, whatever. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. Okay, good, good. Alright. This could have gotten a lot worse. We would have a lot to explain about why we're actually here. Put your hands on your head. I don't think you can arrest him since you are illegally in his home right now, but I mean, you can at least handcuff him or something. Motherfucker! Whoa! Oh, okay, it's a cross. Of the Lord, I, I thought it was a knife for a second. <laughs> All right, well... We can't shoot okay, you for having a cross. Show's over. You're under arrest. How, how are you going to explain why you're in his house? You're going to lie. That's what he's going to do. Cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Yeah, I bet you would have. A gun isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. Maybe not. But most of the time it helps. Yeah, give him that. All right. Well, I'm not sure what kind of fake report Blake's going to cook up, but we didn't shoot the guy. For better or worse, I don't know if the world is better off with him. You know, fine. Uh, I got a, a achievement called Self Control. Did not shoot Nathaniel. Preachy indeed. Uh, we're all up in Scott's face right now. I feel like it's Scott's scenes take longer to load. I don't know why. They really want us to just focus on Scott's eyes. Got some nice yellow eyes. Sort of light green. There we go. One point nine inches of rain. Oof, it's a lot. It's a lot for here, anyway. Not for some places. Alrighty. This place looks cheery. I'm guessing this is another place where one of the kids got taken from. Uh, let's see. Let's ring the doorbell. Anybody home? We got a kid inside. Thanks, Kay. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Not a promising start. Someone... Well, someone should be home if the kid's here. They might have left briefly. It's still not a good idea, but fine. Uh, all right. Is there another way in? Something tells me we're going to break into this house. It seems like it's that kind of day in heavy rain. Bunch of propane tanks and oil drums. Definitely not used to make anything illegal. Surely. We wouldn't do that in this neighborhood. Whew. Okay. Especially not with a kid in the house. Oh, we have a letter. Mrs. Bowles. Anybody home? Yeah, you did just... It's weird to, like, break into someone's house and then announce yourself like that. So it seems like you want to go... Jesus. It's too hard. I can't stand anymore. Take care of my baby. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, hey there. Hello, little cutie. Scott is uh, <laughs> good with kids. Okay, do we know where mom is? That's where we came in. And it seems like mom might have left, but I don't know if mom, if that means mom disappeared or mom is no longer in this world. It really seems like somebody packed up. It doesn't look very lived in right now. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> free baby indeed. Mrs. Bowles. 
Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Uh oh. Sort of seems like mom might not be around anymore. Oh, that. Oh, that sucks. All right. Well. Hey, Summer. Yeah, I sort of had a feeling she'd be in here too. Mrs. Bowles. Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Oh no, she she's bled out pretty hard, dude. Maybe, maybe you might be able to save her, but I don't know, man. Uh, what have you missed? Oh gosh, let's see. We are playing Heavy Rain. Uh, it is a game about four characters, um, and there is a serial killer about who is preying on uh, children. Oh, you're alive. I don't want to go to the hospital, please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Oh, man, what is it? All these parents who are not at all worried about their young children. Just, I know, is a theme in the game. Okay, do you have any... Any bandages or something laying around here? There's a lot of beer bottles. That's not going to help me right now. How is she alive? I mean... Okay, that's water. Yeah, okay, I suppose I... Uh, yeah, probably a good idea to wash that blood off my hands. Uh, okay. Do we have... Okay, okay that's, that's the door out of here. Do we have anything I can dress the wound with? Any gauze... Any kind of first aid supplies. Feel like we would. He's acting like she just fell down or something. I mean, kind of, right? Pretty nonchalant considering that she... Ah, I'm stuck in this little thing here. Okay. Okay, can I go this way? There we go. That's not... that. The cookie box is not going to help you, Scott. You got to find something a little more gauzy. Or bandagey. Or something. Uh, maybe inside here? Is there a medicine cabinet? I need this. Oh, good. And this. And this. Okay. Let's go see what we can do here. Oh, now she looks dead again. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's work on getting her dressed up here so she stops bleeding. All right, she's alive. Okay, now this. Let's get her rolled up. There, I done what I can. That's oh, she just did the one rest. All right. Luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Ooh, okay. Uh, John, this is heavy rain. Okay. My baby. My baby needs me. Well, then why did you slice your wrist? Okay. All right. All right. Well. You stay there. Oh, she needs stitches. She she definitely needs to go to the hospital. That is not... that That is a temporary fix that he just took care of there. Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. What, are you saying because I'm a guy I don't know how to handle a baby? I mean... There's nothing I can't do. He's also not a father, so I mean, you know. Her name is Emily. I mean, is it... She's hungry? Does she need to be changed? She's in her crib, or or what is it? In her stroller, I should say. Maybe she needs to sleep. Put her down for a nap. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe wash your hands. Let's wash mom's blood off my hands before I handle a baby. How about that? That seems like a good idea. Scott is really chill about this. Yeah, Scott is remarkably calm. I mean, granted, having a calming presence in this situation is probably a good thing. You know, you don't want to exacerbate the situation anymore for either of them. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Okay, got to change her. All right, I'm guessing this is where the game's going to want me to be very careful and slow. How do you do this again? Well, 
I would say it's not rocket science, but now I think about it, I don't know if I've ever actually changed a diaper before. Don't worry, I'm not a father. I, I would definitely do that if I had my own kid. Hopefully TikTok won't have a problem with this nudity. Uh, uh, those button combinations are rough. There we go. Okay. That's Scott is taking ashwagandha. <laughs> ashwagandha is great. I take that stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, at least she seems like, you know, he calmed her down. Seems to have a good way with, uh... Hey, what's the matter? He's got a good way with kids. No, still something else. You need a bottle, maybe? You hungry? I did see a bottle in here. Well, why don't we go get it? I guess I better warm this thing up. Probably a good idea. All right. Let's give that a second until it warms up. Oh, that's it. Okay. Scott potentially giving the baby old milk. Oh, That's Emily, are you possible. Hungry? You hold on. I mean, she probably would have had a bottle at some point earlier today, right? So you don't jump. See, I didn't even know about that, but... Now I do. Tilt the bottle a little bit so it doesn't come out too quickly. feel like you're watching a proper series? Kind of. I mean, it's very, like, movie or television-like, right? That's not weird, Jaden. I've eaten cereal out of worse. Alright. Are we good? Seems like that might be enough. Let's see. Nope. Still going, huh? Alright. Oh. That's weird. Didn't register. I was holding up. Okay. Now it goes. All right, you getting sleepy? Have I ever changed a diaper? I have not changed a diaper, sister. But I don't have kids, so... That would be why. I've also... I've never lived with, with newborns or whatever. So... Never had a reason to... Oh, right, you gotta burp them. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? Now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snoop. Yeah, you probably want to sleep through what's coming here. Because mom is going to have to go to the hospital. All right, we're going to rock you very gently. I try to do this gently anyway. Come on. There we go. And same thing. And rock you back. And rock you this way. And rock you around there. Oh, you're getting tired, aren't you? Okay, okay. Why don't I carefully put you down? Supporting your head. There we go. Look at that. You're all taken care of. Everything's fine. Now let me go get your mom, who is bleeding to death. How you doing? Thanks for looking after my baby. Well, I'm glad one of us did. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. <sighs> it does suck. All right. Not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. You've only changed the dog diaper? Do dogs have diaper? I guess Stanley some dogs, maybe. Oh, is Jeremy the... S yeah, okay. Can you take care of this baby on your own? Probably not. Does father live with you anymore? He disappeared. I think she's made it very clear that she is not in a place to look after a baby. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. God. 
I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? Hmm. No. He left the house without a word and... There was just the cell phone. Oh, he got he got a cell phone too, huh? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's um hmm. it's in a drawer in the living room. Okay. All right. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Okay, so Jeremy's dad also got a package with a cell phone. Anybody to help you? So I'm guessing... Yeah. My mother. Okay, so there was... It's probably another shoebox, so, like, everybody got the same package. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Yeah, you, you probably should team up with somebody for a little while. And Emma. Yes, please. And maybe go to the hospital, get some stitches. I mean, it's it's not not Scott's problem to fix, but uh, ugh. All right. Well, not that I really want to leave Emily in this house, but I don't know that I have an option. This isn't new to you. You have a baby cousin, so it's a disaster. Oh man. All right. Good take luck, Emily. You take care of your mama. Oh, uh, yeah. That shouldn't be on the baby, but all right, fine. All right. Well. Oh wait. Oh, that's right. Drawer in the living room. We need the phone. Looking very similar to the one. He just left the baby. I mean, uh, what's he gonna do, right? He can't take the baby. And he can't solve her problems, but he she should probably go talk to her mom and maybe go stay there with the baby for a little while. Maybe mom can help while she kind of gets her act together. I would like to leave the baby in a slightly better environment. Maybe, maybe want to have CPS swing by. Do a little bit of a wellness check on everybody. Ugh. All right, then. Uh, baby master. Make no mistakes taking care of the baby. These achievements are great in this game. I love it. Okay, so we're back to Ethan. So presumably, we're going to find out where he was going. CPS is always going to be a no-no. You probably should have had her call her mother before she left. Pixie, you're probably right. Okay, let's see. All right. So Wednesday at 11. Ethan got a message. And a ticket. To go here to a garage. To complete some sort of challenges if he wants to save Sean. Let's go see what this is. Right. Do we have an attendant here of some kind? No, but we got somebody working. Can I chat with you? Excuse me. Oh, you're busy, but hey, just oh. got a question. Sorry, didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? Uh, I got a ticket. What can I do with this? I'd like to get my car. Oh, you seem like you know what this is, and it might not be normal. Hey, you're of course not. A patient guy, you are. Am I? The car's been there for two years. Oh. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here, it's the third floor down. Thanks. The service elevator is at the. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Okay. All right, service elevator's over here. Let's go get my car. Surely this will go fine. Surely, 
It'll just be a very simple pickup, and I will go use this car to go find Sean. Oh, boy. All right. That's where all the saw vibes start happening, isn't it? All right, third level down. Okay, where's my car? Oh, that's one way to figure it out. All right. Looks like it's a relatively newer one, or at least kept in better shape than some of these places. Is it the truck? Nope, it's this thing over here. All right. Okay, what do we got here? I did not know that, sister. Good to be aware. Okay, is that... Wait, is that... What do we got here? We have... Uh, another... Is that a GPS of some kind? Remember when we used to use those instead of phones? Uh, wait, let's do... Yeah. Now that I knew, sister. All right. All right, let's see. Mm. Anything over here? No. Okay, do I turn this thing on? Your destination is four miles from here. Okay. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. Well, let's do that. Surely this will go fine. Whatever it is. All right, let's drive on out of here. Where are we going? Ooh. Take the left at the next intersection. Okay. Keep to the right and take the first exit. Easy enough so far. All right, another Ethan scene. Hmm. Well, so far, so good. Right? I think. Oh, boy. All right. All this normalcy is making me nervous. Okay, we're on the highway. Oh, this is where we... Or, did we go to Silent Hill? Is Mary here? You have reached your destination. Uh-oh. Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. Oh, I forgot about this. If you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. Oh, for Christ's sake. All right. Well, I'm... Just, I gotta, I gotta do, save Sean. I do anything to save my son. Okay. Let's go hope. I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only need. Thank you, Ange. Gonna need it. All right. Well, let's do it. I only got five minutes. I mean, except. To do it for Sean's sake. I have no choice. All right, let's go. Let's hope. Uh, let's hope it's not rush hour. Okay. Oh man. I'd be terrified. Oof. Oof. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Oh no. Oh no. That's not all right. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh. Can I get out of that? I can. Ooh. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. I know. Are you going to nag me at every mile? Uh-oh. Woohoo! Alright. Oh, don't hit that guy. Or that guy. Or anyone, really. Let's just... Be clear on that. Oh, 
I'd totally forgotten about this. Oh, this car's getting messed up. It's They took care of this car for two years just for Ethan to trash it. Oh, of course. Of course there's a cop. Yeah, just flat. Yeah, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna zip around and get you, buddy. As well they should. Oh, just keep going. Just keep going for one more mile. It's gonna suck to explain this to the cops later, but you got to. Oh, they're gonna try to take you out. Ooh. Well, luckily he's not in his own car. So if they do run the plates, it's not gonna come back to him. Why would you shoot on a crowded highway like... All right. There's no way they would shoot like that. Whoa. I missed that one, but... Did I make it? I don't know. It doesn't look good. Oh, I did! Press the screen. Well, get it quick and get the heck out of here. Okay. Oh, the directions are upside down. Ooh, okay. That's a nice touch. The directions are all reversed while I'm hanging upside down. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Mm. Left, right. Right trigger. Up. Oh, give me that quick. Let's get the heck out of here. Immediately. Oh, God. Yeah, get that belt off. Okay. Yeah, whichever way the fire's not. How about that? Oh, kick out the door, Ethan. Or the window. Or something. Okay, other side, maybe. There we go. Yeah, you need, you need to not be here when the cops come. They are definitely still aware of you. Woo! Okay, we did it. Okay. Okay. So what does that get me? Letters, I presume? Another video of Sean, because of course there is. And Ethan, you should probably flee the scene, but fine. All right, can't do anything with that, but it's something. It's a start. I suppose this is going to be like Wheel of Fortune or something where it's like, if you get three or four challenges done, it's probably going to be enough to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, Ethan, do not be here when those sirens arrive. They are not happy with you. Unlock the new bonus. Okay, we got Madison. Good driver. Complete the bear trial successfully. All right. Well, that's the first one. All right, what's Madison up to? We are... she's at the motel. Oh, is she here too because she doesn't want to stay at her place? I mean, she can't sleep at her place, apparently. Okay. 
That is a sick jacket. I want that. All right, so we go check in, I presume. Seems like that would be the first thing to do. Ring the bell. The atmosphere here is one of concern, as there is still no news of 10-year-old Sean Morris disappearing yesterday. A recent report Ah, oh, what a creep. I already don't like this guy. Hello there, sweetheart. Oh, that voice. Oh, God. I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Yep. I'll give you the one that I put all the hidden cameras in. It'll be fine. Okay. I should probably put a fake name down or something. Madison Page 27. Did single. Oh, just her. Okay. I was going to say, like, did it ask her marital status? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor. Stairs on the right. In the courtyard. Oh, God. I hate him already. I know I'm going to hate this guy. There's, there's some reason I'm going to hate this guy. Oh, sure. yeah, seriously. All right. Uh, should I park my motorcycle somewhere? Or we're just going to leave it there. All right, that's fine. All right, 201. All right, is it... Now, is this... I presume... Why does this kind of remind you of Final Destination? Oh, I don't know. Now, this is another one of those things where they never really get the American details right because the first floor would be the ground floor. Whereas here, you have to go up a floor for the first floor. That's how you know it was made by a European company. All right. Now, we're looking for 201. Which is 207. Five... Oh, Ethan. Hi. How you doing? Sir? Are you alright? No, he's had a hell of a day, Madison. I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. Uh, where's your room? It's number 207. Okay, well, at least it's not far. Let's, let's go do that. We, do I have to move you? Oh, okay, I do. All right. Let's see. All right. Well, Madison seems to get herself into all sorts of adventures. Here's another one. Have you got the key? Uh, uh, set in the 2010s. Yeah, it looked like uh, the calendar in the uh, the motel lobby said 2011. I can't remember if it, this game came out in 2010 or 2011, but it was like right around then. Uh, okay. Ha hey, you. Really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. I must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal, <laughs> but it's sore as hell. I bet. You're lucky that's all that happened to you after the day you had. Head is bleeding. It looks deep. Uh, do I? Okay. All right. I have to go. Now you see why it's called heavy, right? Yeah. Let's see. Let me. Do we have anything in the? I mean, there probably wouldn't be, but now we have a couple of. Prescription med. Is any of this pain meds, maybe? Necofrin 100 antibiotics administered to combat infection. Okay. All right. You could probably use that. Uh, wait, no, you don't have infection. That's not right. What about this? Is this pain meds? Paraphenol anti-fever. I don't... Administer only in cases of high fever. No, I don't need that. Okay. How about... What is this? Paracamol painkiller. Okay, cool. In 
cases of intense pain. All right. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. Okay, let's start with this. Here you go. Here. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Well, too late now. <laughs> Did he just pop three? Well, if you're passed out, you, you're not going to be able to help Sean either, but okay. Okay, is there anything else I can do for you? Anything for your head? You probably don't have first aid supplies in here, but uh, anything? What's this top one? I should disinfect his cuts. Okay, yeah, we should do that. Uh, okay. I don't know what we're gonna bandage them with, but that's, again, it's something. I'm gonna disinfect- Who is, Jaden? This might hurt a little. Okay, let's be very careful as we do it. Yeah, it's not gonna feel great, but... You're better off. You're a big boy. You'll be alright. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I... I'm gonna take a shower. Alright. Let me help you. Well, well, you, are you going to help him into the shower, Madison? You just met this guy. She's very trusting. I'll give her that. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. I guess she had nothing else to do today. Or maybe she's just a good person. I don't know. Uh-oh. Do I have to cut the TikTok feed again? I don't think so. Look like an egg to you? That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? I'm gonna sit down. Uh, name is Madison. Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? Uh, I guess insomnia. No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. That sounds like an expensive malady that you have. I'm too exhausted. I, uh, I come and spend a night here. Where she'd be comfortable, naturally. Oh, the gig was great, Summer. I had a great time. Thanks. Apart from fixing up strangers. They do suck, Game Tape Friends Online. I know. I'm a photographer. Oh. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Okay, we're just gonna... Alright, he's done. He's a year in a hotel and it's 2.07? Oh, wow! That's, that's wild. Okay. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for Ethan to get fixed up. Alright, good. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Well, I mean... It's probably all you can do at this point, I guess. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Naifu started selling Sleepy Time cookies. Oh, neat. I'll check it out. What what makes them Sleepy Time cookies, Game Tape Friends Online? I would have thought there'd be, like, sugar in them and such. It'll keep you up. Alrighty. Let me maybe move those pills... I'm going to pick those pills up and put them away, right? Oh, it's the shoebox. Okay. All right. What do you got next for me, Origami Killer? Hey, what is this? Is this going outside? I don't know that I want to go outside in that rain. No, nah, I'm good. Also, I'm probably a fugitive. Oh, thanks, Summer. Yeah, it was a great show. I had a, I had a lot of fun. And I finally saw a concert at Madison Square Garden, so I knocked that off my uh, life list there. Okay. Number two. So does that mean that the store clerk only got to number three? Oh boy. All right. I don't know why he wouldn't just... Okay, uh, prepare to save your son. Old power plant on Embarcadero Street. Why wouldn't he just open all of them right now? Like, why is he putting them away? Wouldn't he want to know, like, where he's supposed to go? 
Maybe knock out a few of them at once? All right, old power plants on Embarcadero Street. Let's do this. Night Foods website uh, lists their ingredients, but specifically less sugar, more protein, and other sleepy stuff like tryptophan. Ooh, I'll have to take a look at it. Isabel, you're in a hotel and it's 207. Oh, man. There's a lot of people in room 207 these days. We got more Numb and Jaden. FBI. It's a little more country. He's, he's a little more like New England accent. The ice cream is delicious. Okay. I'll have to take a look. His accent sends you. Oh, man. If you're into his accent, he's got a good one. What is he looking at? Squinting. I wish I could control some of what he's doing, but I cannot. He's just kind of looking around right now. All right. Wednesday, 426. Two inches of rain. That's a little more Australian. I, I, I can't quite nail that one. That's all right. Oh, you didn't mean you're into it. You're into it. It's, it's funny to mock. Okay, cool. Why didn't you shoot? Why didn't I murder a man? We broke into his house. Back there. Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Jaden is so baby girl. A fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. How are we going to explain that? I thought you were a tough guy, a street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? I would love to, but unfortunately, I am stuck with you as my partner and I'm trying to catch a serial killer. So, here we are. That's him. Let's go. Hey there, Hello, sir. Carter. Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Ask away, officers, I guess. Oh, or not. Okay, I guess we're gonna chase you now. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. All right. Well, let's do it. Ah. Hey, man, watch ah. it, dude. Whoa. Okay, now we're doing this. Running into traffic. Whoa. Oh, that was real close. Whoa. Ah, I missed that one. Ah, god darn it. All right. Ow. All right. Okay. We're just gonna knock over everything in this grocery store? Grocery store, yes. What? What is this, a Buster Keaton movie? All right, fine. Okay, still slipping through. Uh, let's go up and over. Get him. Oh! Sure does seem to have a lot of time to knock over everything in this store. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I've been in a store with live chickens in it, I gotta say. Where'd you go? Where are your goggles, Norman? You might be able to see footprints. I have to go for Oh, I do have to go for it. All right. Where are you at? Uh, not Ethan Winters from Resident Evil, although Ethan Mars would be a decent Ethan Winters. He can hold, he can handle himself. He's a father. Uh, ow. Okay. Yeah, that'll knock this off. Ow. Uh oh. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get out of this safely somehow. Oh. Alright. It would totally be a slapstick comedy. 
This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Well, you don't know about that. We got somebody who didn't want to talk to the cops, surely. Covered market, beat Corda in the cold storage. All right. All right, Scott, what are you up to? Gonna go meet another origami killer parent? Or a parent of a child that was killed by the origami killer? Looks like we'd unbonk this dude on the head. All right, we got Scott's chilled out at his desk with a uh, slightly empty bottle of booze. Just getting really into the whole PI vibe. Scott, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. All right, what is that? Is that a freaking typewriter? Who has a typewriter? It's 2011. You have no excuse for having a typewriter. Okay. Whatever that is doesn't seem important. Uh, go left. It's in my desk. Uh, an inhaler. Don't seem to need that right now, but good to know. Uh, booze. Also, don't seem to need that right now, but good to know. Uh, badge. Oh, was Scott a police officer at some point? And then a gun. And again, don't seem to need it, but glad to know I have it. Alrighty. Do I want to look outside? I don't know what I expected to see. Got a map. It's looking like... Philadelphia? Yeah, it's looking very Philadelphia-like. Armed forces, yep. Yeah. Okay, so he definitely at least knew people in the police station if he wasn't. Hey, Mr. X, how are you? Can we get something in the fridge? It's got that very, like, 50s-esque looking fridge, too. No, nothing jumping out at me? Okay. I got... What is that, a beer? Of some kind? Looks like it. Alright, well. Oh, thanks, I'm good. You do have a typewriter, Matthew? Okay, hey. You know, I'm, gl yeah, I'm glad that somebody's keeping those things alive. Okay, just another glass. Whole lot of booze in this place. Maybe a little too much. Scott. Maybe you ought to buy yourself a TV or something. Uh, what's in here? Bedroom. Anything of note? Ooh, we've got... Is that you on the force? Your father, maybe? The fridge is labeled right. Uh, Casey, do I record these and post them later? On? Yeah, it's actually it's right here on uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, so all of these are are posted later, including this one. So as soon as we finish up here, it will be uh, it'll be up there for everybody. You saw a game on TikTok the other day. I should play. What is it, Summer? Apparently, everyone was telling me about like Day of Fear or something like that. I don't remember what it was. Oh, somebody's here. All right, hang on, let's go get it. You moved to YouTube for the don't get banned scenes. I mean, if you... You know, I, I would want to see... If I was going to stick around and watch a playthrough, I'd want to see the whole thing. I don't blame anybody for, for doing that. I know it's like, obviously, I have to just cut the saucy parts, but um, it's part of the story. You oh. said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Hello, Lord Winter. Can I you? Yeah. You got ten minutes. Sure. I don't kiss and I don't do weird stuff. Fabled Sub says, get the gun. Uh, yeah, sit down. Yeah, what's going on? You remember something? Oh, the controls are a little funky, but ah, I'm stuck on the corner. Okay. Yeah, it's got that way. To your desk. Come on, this is your perfect, this is your PI moment. All right. 
Dame walks into my office. I just got a missing that. persons case. Got but booze all over the place. But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. Oh, yeah. I've heard about Fears of Fathom. It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside him, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. Mm. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Oh. There it is. Okay, you got the envelope. Does it have the letter in it? No sender. Hmm. Interesting. One thing you prefer YouTube because it's in full screen. Yeah, it's in full screen, and then like um, you can do a little bit more. Like the sounds a little better on YouTube. Unfortunately, I can't fix anything about it. Just the way that uh, TikTok does it. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead. You never know. Could be. Kind of like that typewriter. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I. I can't just sit around. Oh, cool! Check it out. While you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Well. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking. And what I, would you recommend? I want to come with you, help you in your investigation. Oh, you were ten minutes behind. Yeah, uh, YouTube can go like you can you can watch it as you play. So like some, sometimes it's I'm out sorry, of sync. Lord, but that is out of the question. If oh, send it to me, Summer. You're welcome to. I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Uh, this seems dangerous. Yes. An investigation like this is dangerous, and I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? I mean, not a ton. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. Well, that's not really what she was looking for. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? Oh boy. This doesn't seem like a good idea. <sighs> We're partners. Like, Lauren seems a little unstable, but alright. I should play Dying Light. I like Dying Light. I love zombies and I love parkour, so. <laughs> that game was basically made for me. Alright, where are we going? Yep, Mr. X is back. The more unhinged, the better. <laughs> She'll be interesting. Will she Will she help the case? That I don't know. But maybe they could have some banter along the way. It'll be fun. Why not? Oh, we've got big house with a bodyguard outside. Some kind of security. Where are we going? Matthew, you just got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You're halfway. That's a great game. I need to replay the Tomb Raider games. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. And where are we going, exactly? How is this related to the origami killer? Okay, he has an invite for whatever the heck is going on here. What are we doing? Excellent question. Come to see Gordy Kramer. And who is? From Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Oh, some greyhound statues. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, we hit our 16K on TikTok. Finally. What Took a second. Point. Kramer must be loaded. Hang on one second. Let me just see something real quick. We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. We sure will. Coming out of my cage. Uh, oh. Okay, he's got a... There's a wild party going on here. All right. Let me know if you need me. Coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. Started out with a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. All right. Time for YouTube. Oh, is there? There's no... Uh, so far, 
I think this is still safe for TikTok, but I am ready to swap it over if I need to. All right, where's Gordy at? Yeah, I think so far everybody is still clothed for the moment. I don't know if that's... That makes sense I'm a slave for Carl Grimes. Let's see. I don't think I need whiskey. I don't need to go drinking. I need to find Gordy Kramer. Anyone know where he is? You think you can help me out? With what? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! Well, you don't look like you belong here, and everybody else is probably high, so he made at least, you know, a decent observation. Maybe he's upstairs. Ready to get banned again? Oh, is there is there nudity in this? All right, hang on. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. All right, so it sounds like everyone's telling me there's probably gonna be some uh, some nakedness coming up. Um, let's see here. Maybe when we um, we'll probably have to go upstairs, I guess. Anything in here? All right, so yeah, if you're on TikTok and you wanna, I may have to cut the feed. Um, if you would like to uh, continue watching, uh, feel free to come over to YouTube. Otherwise, I mean, feel free to hang out on TikTok. I'm, I'm just gonna turn off the, the game feed if it starts to get uh, anything, if it starts to get uh, a little too naked for my taste. Gordy hasn't seen anyone, beat it. Okay, how about I pay off? Look, here's Mr. Franklin. He says I should go up. You talk so crazy if I shove that wall down your throat? Beat it! I ain't for sale! If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Okay, so you have to figure out how else are we gonna see Gordy Kramer. Could I go outside? So, did you find Gordy? Upstairs, I got two goons blocking the way. Lauren, you want to maybe uh, go use your feminine wiles on them? Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? Knock them out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you wouldn't expect TikTok to be that reserved, but well, here we are. Oh yeah, they're not having it. Yeah, those two are not gonna chase the, what? Well, maybe. Okay, that was actually kind of smart. Alright, Scott, this is your moment. Why don't we just loop around here? Don't worry about me, boys. There we go. Miss! Miss, are you alright? Hey, wake up! Shit! Another one's gonna OT on the dance floor. Oh, man. Gordy throw some crazy parties. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in here. All right. Uh Gordy, you are you are paying attention to the wrong thing here, buddy, but all right. <laughs> Mr. Kramer. <laughs> This is the best part. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Hey, how's it going? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> okay, I don't know what he's had tonight. I don't think you're gonna get anything useful out of him, Scott. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Ooh. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! 
<laughs> All right, whatever it is was worth breaking that up, so it's got to be something useful. Uh, let's be factual. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. Oh, well, that's normal. I arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Hmm. Let's be skeptical. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Mm. I get my victims into my car. Yeah, I don't believe that either. Them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. Okay, you watch the news. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Oh. Hey, gentlemen. Get rid of this clown! Whoa. Oh. Mm. I was not expecting that. Alright. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not going to go well for you, Scott. You should probably just get the heck out of here. Yeah. Actually, it seems to be going all right for him now I think about it. Oh, he's got a gun. Uh, now they both have guns. None of this is good. You need to not be here. Someone is going to get shot, and it shouldn't be you. Uh-oh, oh. oh. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? Well, probably. He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. Was funny about that, but okay, I guess he's just gonna laugh about it. All right, well, his dudes are passed out on the couch. Oh, this game is f all sorts of weird. Tough guy, defeat Gordy's bodyguards. All right, okay, another Ethan section. All right, so he was going to the power plant, abandoned, uh, abandoned power plants on Embarcadero, theoretically not working if it's abandoned. All right, let's see. Wednesday, 7.42. 2.2 inches of rain. Let's see, what all is here? Bust on in. Yep, oh, okay. Surely, they made sure I could get in, otherwise what would be the point of going to all the trouble? Can't get in that way, huh? All right, well, is there another way? Maybe I could scale this wall somewhere? You're gonna leave me a dumpster to hop over? Or something? Oh, there is still power on, including a big old Tesla coil or something. Oh, that can't be good. Maybe there's a hole in the fence. 
that. What about this fence? There you go. That is not very effective barbed wire, but okay. Ah, ow. Oh, Ethan, if that's all that happens to you today, although that is a blood sample that you're not leaving at the scene of whatever the heck is going to happen here. Cool. All right, what now? Am I going inside? I don't see a door. This looks very unsafe, especially in the rain. How is it this way? Is that the way in? No, that's the fence. All right. Yeah, what is this? Oh, oh, there is something over there. What had a little butterfly next to it? High voltage warning, I bet. Okay. All right. Do I need to... This is a furnace? Oh. So far, so good. As an electrician, you're here to say, don't try this at home. Yeah, seriously. This does not seem wise. Whatever is going on here. I know he can't help it, but still. Do I want to use this? Am I testing for gas? Is that what I'm doing? It's telling me I need to. I'm just trying to shine a light. Okay. Well, nothing in there. Oop. Okay. Okay, this is a bad idea. Uh, how long am I going for? Uh, a little over another hour, Jaden. It's a 10-hour game. We are almost at four hours. Okay, that's bad. So I'll probably go... It is... About uh, 20 minutes to 5 p.m. here in California. Probably go until about 6. Ooh, that's, that's glass. That should be pretty easy to brush away, though. Unless it's been affixed to something. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. Take off your jacket and then crawl through it. use it so I don't tear up my to... Arms brush the glass away. How hard is that? Alright, well, weird. Okay, we need to go slowly. <laughs> Trying to do this carefully. So he doesn't cut himself any more than he probably already is. We can minimize the cutting of himself. Okay, I saw the butterfly to the right. I'm guessing... That's probably the way to go. So far it is, anyway. Mm. The match flame indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Okay, well, that's clever. All right, well then. I can't see the prompt. Okay, I don't really need to do this again, but fine. Uh, cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, careful. Carefully. Okay, how about now? So same thing, we're going left this time. I used to walk on broken glass barefoot for fun? What is fun about that? We have very different definitions of fun, Mango Dragon. Alright. Well, this is a little tamer than, you know, drive the wrong way on the freeway for five miles in five minutes. Well, that's alright, Jaden. Hope you have a good move. 
Okay. I got a three-way intersection here. Okay, where to now? Hopefully I don't run out of these matches. Go left. Okay. Where to? All right, if it's just this, this feels not too bad. I say that thinking that this is the only part of the challenge. It might not be. I do not remember this challenge. So I don't recall if there's a phase two. I also don't know that I've passed this yet. Okay. What about now? Okay, head to the right. That looks like an exit, maybe? Again, he can just brush this broken glass away, assuming it's not, like, glued to the floor. He does not have to crawl through this. I don't... All right, fine. I guess if he's got the jacket on. If it's a thick enough jacket, he's probably... Right. Ooh, there's a lot more on the floor. All right. Ow. Ugh. There we go. Ooh, that is a very small little pipe here. I guess I don't really have any choice. I mean, I suppose you've committed thus far, so... Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just fly on down out of here. It's probably a quick time event I'm gonna have to watch out for. Oh god, oh god, oh god. God! Oh! That's not good. Uh, black enough. Thanks for following. Alright. Where the heck am I? We've got... All right, again, doesn't seem safe, this thing, wherever he is right now. Okay, I gotta get to the other side of that. Great. I don't suppose there's anything I can use to help me. No, not that. Can't go there. And I go over here. No. Okay, only way to go is down. Fine. Okay. Coward. Is that the exit door? Now, hold on. All right. Are there any of these that are not live? Like that. Okay, is that my only option? I have a feeling I need to... Can I go this way? No. Alright. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have to, like, think ahead on this so the game doesn't try to... put me in a dead-end situation. Okay. One down. Um... Can I... Okay, so not... Alright, so both of those are... Huh. Okay, what about over here? 
And the one ahead of me is also not. I'm just trying to... Okay, that one... Yeah, because I could do front and ahead of me or left, and I kind of feel like left is the way to go. Let's do that. All right. How am I doing in regards to the butterfly? I cannot go. Can I go ahead? I can go ahead. Let's see. Is there. Okay. And if I do that, I can turn right and then progress. Good. All right. Let's do that. All right. So tense. Oh, God. How many more buttons? Limbo, limbo, limbo. All right. Whew. Okay. All right. Let me... Okay. Cannot go in front. The only way I can go is this way. All right. Whatever gets me some forward progress. He's also soaking wet near all that. He kind of is. Okay, can't go forward. Uh, only way I can go is to my right. Okay. Okay, I can go forward. Uh, it also seems like I can go in front of me. Is there... If I go to my... In front of me, is there a path forward? There is not. So it kind of seems like going this way appears to be the move. All right, let's do it. Uh, Casey, I'm probably going for about another hour. It's, uh, it's almost five here. Okay. Is this... I want to get a closer look. Yeah, I think I can get through that. All right, and that's the win. Theoretically. Oh, no. All right, hang on one more time. Do I need to do something here? There we go. Woo! Okay. All right. Let's see. Is that it? Do we get it? And then uh, are we finishing this tomorrow? Yes. Um, we're going to start at... Uh, it'll be... It sounds like you're in Eastern time. So it'll be at 4 o'clock your time. Uh, and we'll go... Uh, I mean, probably until we finish. Yeah. Okay. Another video of Sean. He's up to his shoulders now. Uh, something Roosevelt? Looks like Roosevelt. Roosevelt Boulevard, Roosevelt Lane, I don't know. Uh, Robin, thanks for following. Okay, okay. Alright, well, Ethan, you did it. We're starting to get what looks like an address. It's not enough. Sun coming up. Oh, uh, it's morning. All right. All right, let's see. Got another Madison. The butterfly. Complete the butterfly trial successfully. Okay. Have I played Super Liminal? I have not played Super Liminal.
Uh, what is that? All right, Madison 906. Is she going to find Ethan outside? <laughs> Nerves are probably a little fried. Uh, Emmy, when are we going to do Last of Us again? I don't know. I don't have any plans to do it again just yet. Sister, what do I think of the Eastern Time Zone? <laughs> That's pretty broad, right? Um, I like it fine. Super Liminal will be a great game to stream. Good to know. I should look into it. Oh. Oh, Ethan. Oh God. You're not looking so good. I'm going to go through your medicine chest again. Try to help you out. No, oh, I gotta uh, press it like that. There we go. Have I played Visage? No, it's on my list. Oh, sorry, that was for Game Day Friends Online. Sorry. Alright. Lift you up. Lift you up. Let's get you. Yeah. <sighs> Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Okay, what do you... Yeah, we don't really know what your injuries are yet. We should probably figure that out first. Well, I know, but... Uh... You have a fever? You've got a hell of a fever. You do. I gotta see. I mean, I, get your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Yeah, I don't want it to be weird, but you are cut up pretty bad, Ethan. <sighs> How very nice to take care of a strange man in a motel like this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got wounds. Arms look really bad. And we've got a fever. I need to disinfect your wounds. Okay, so disinfectant and then something for the fever. All right. Let's do that. Okay. I know we got some stuff in here. So many beer bottles in everyone's places. All right. Mm -mm. Okay. Just going to just get them for me this time. Probably wise. A doctor, but I'll do what I can. Okay, we need to disinfect those wounds. Start with that. Okay, carefully. Yeah, there we go. There as well. Okay. Your wounds are disinfected. Okay. Good start. How about the fever? Um, or rather, let's do... Let's do ointment on those wounds. Probably need that. <laughs> Gotta do this slowly and careful. Ah, not too far. Ah, all right. You don't do it slow enough. All right. Come on. Okay, seriously. There we go. Sorry, I'm stupid. I'm using anti-burn ointments on your cuts. Oh. I thought it was... All right, fine. Uh, let's bandage you up. Wonder if he'll get burned in a future challenge. I don't recall.
He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. Well, okay. That's all you can do. Are you gonna hang out when watch him sleep? I got Madison, you need a hobby. Seriously. Yeah, he probably should have taken some medicine for his fever, too. But, no, he just passed out. Alright, well. You can take it when he wakes up, I guess. can't even guess the way they program Superliminal. They, the way they incorporated perspective and the mechanics is mind-boggling. Ooh, interesting. I really should look into this. Okay. Did you hang out for hours while he slept? How do you feel? Confused? Oh, no. Mango says play Superliminal. All right. Better. Yeah, you have been. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. Fair question! Uh, let's go memory? When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh... Have I heard of Alan Wake? I have. I've only played the first one, though. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? Mm, that seems like, yeah, truth. I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. Well, we all go through those sometimes. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. Okay, explanations? That's the second time I found you in a bad way. Yeah. You always seem to be running for your life. You sure do. What's happening, Ethan? Fair question. You don't strike me as the Fight Club type. You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? Have I played Left 4 Dead? Yeah, I love Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead's great. Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake... I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Yeah, okay. I think she wants to help. Maybe I could help you. No I... one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. Okay. All right. Well, she did plenty. I mean, I understand Ethan not wanting to get her involved in this. Plus, like, he is technically breaking a lot of laws. She played the South Park Snow game. I didn't hear good things about that. I like the two, uh, uh, the two Obsidian games, but I don't know. Are you ready to make a sacrifice to save your son? 9711 Marble Street. Okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, I heard the South Park Snow game was not, not that good. More Madison, huh? All right. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. Didn't do what? I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? Yeah. Why did you? I already told you. I forgot to report to my parole officer. And you did... Want to go back to prison? What did you think was going to happen if you ran from the cops? I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck. That bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Hitman series? Yeah, th th I love the Hitman series. Okay. Ash? Okay. What's going on? Moss's mother is here. Oh. She'd like to speak with you. I don't think that's a good idea. Blake isn't exactly uh, good with people. It was Everything? No. 
Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. Oh, you're gonna turn him in as the origami killer. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Jaden, you got an idea? Or are you going to go find Ethan, I presume? I'm Police Lieutenant Carter <clears throat> Blake. This is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. He can't tell you anything. I'm sorry, that's impossible. Yeah, that's impossible. I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patient. Yeah, if you guys got a warrant, that's one thing, but... My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. You had to know that. All right, can we... Can we reason with the shrink? It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, doctor. But he clearly I'm doesn't. Sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. For her for his own sake? Why? Uh maybe convince. I know you don't want to protect a murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. No. I suggest you take it. Okay, are you a mobster now, Blake? Yeah, Blake, calm down. That's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. Oh. I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So wow. Uh, Danielle Jackson, thanks for subscribing on YouTube. Thanks a lot. Lose my temper. Hey, hey. You out of your mind? Back off, Jaden. Like I know something, and I'm not leaving here until he tells me what it is. You have no right. Man, all right, uh, Blake. I don't. There's an easy way, you know. I don't know how you think you're gonna get away with this. Yeah, seriously. Hey. No right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. I think. Well, no. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you, and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? Were you getting cold feet? You can't just save Sean Mars anymore. You're not saving anyone right now. Sean Mars just as much as you do. But that doesn't give me all rights. So you're going to stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted. Hey McKenna. Of drowning you did blood. miss the yelling of Jason. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, <laughs> I found this on the floor. Oh. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Dun, dun, dun. Well, he's definitely the killer. I mean, it is something probably worth looking into, but still. I wouldn't say that makes him a killer. Good cop. Stop Blake from hitting Dupree. All right. All right, we got one Nom and Jaden. I'm getting better in my uh, New England accent. Not great. Don't get me wrong, but like, you know, better. I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. You are really jumping to conclusions. Okay. Let's see what we get from here. More Scott. We haven't seen Scott in a minute. What's oh, up to, Scott? You and Lauren getting into trouble again? Going to any more fun parties? He did say gammy, yeah. All 
All right, we got somebody who looks like he has security with him. Is this uh, Kramer, the construction guy? Let's see. Can nice I talk shot. to you? Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. You know each other. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. Yeah. It's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. I suppose not. Okay. Take oh, am I gonna... <laughs> We're gonna play golf now. All right, sure. <laughs> Why not? Where's Lauren at? Thought she was my partner. All right. The balls are in that basket. Grab me a, grab me a driver. Actually, that's more like a putter, really. That's not entirely accurate, but fine, whatever. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. That's it. I could play golf if that's all it is to it. All right. Up oh, and right trigger. Boom. How'd I do? Well, it's only your first ball. Ah, uh, not great, apparently. Just strike it a little harder next time. Well, you've got an actual driver. Scott's got the wrong club. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. Shouldn't the whole city be underwater right now, right? That's right. One would think. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case. Okay, anyway. so this is Kramer. Alright. See if we can hit it with a little more heft. There we go. My oh. son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. Hmm. One way to look at it. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. No, well, surely. That, that uh, wraps it all up there, right? John Kramer from Saw. One would think, right? It's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. I suppose that's true. You love this game so much, Jay Show? It's my first time playing it since uh, since it first came out. So I have played it before. It has been a long time. Okay. I'm an influential man, Mr. Show. Sure seems so. Very well for loyalty. Are you paying me to uh, not investigate your son? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. Mm. If you do, you'll regret it. Oh. I love, love the, uh... Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. The, the kind of formal uh, attitude drops a little bit. You can see he's kind of got the, uh... He's got a different side to him. It's a nice touch. Yeah, what a game indeed, Chris. Bravo, amazing game. Yeah, it's this is good. All right. Okay, not sure I trust him, but also not totally sure I think Gordy's the killer. Oh, back to Ethan. Okay. All right. Some house, am I ready to make a sacrifice? Well, I made two sacrifices so far. It's worked out okay. Not for, you know, the people on the freeway or... Whoever has to clean up the power plant. Soundtrack is amazing. You can see how tense the situations are. Yeah, Chris, it really is. Uh, Chris, thanks for following. All right. So I presume Ethan has not been apprehended by the cops yet. And Chris, thank you for following. 
you know, I'll make the right decisions. I certainly hope so. We'll see. Alright, where am I going? Uh, so if this is uh, Heavy Rain, is the name of this game. Uh, Chris says, Detroit Become Human is an amazing game. It is. Uh, we're going to play that in two weeks, I think it is. Oh, okay, this was the lizard trial, and we found a lizard, so... Some lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. I presume that means this is where I'm supposed to be? Oh, what do we got in here? Is there anything I might want inside? I don't suppose there really... Oh, yeah, there is something inside, okay. Are they keys? They sound like keys. Aha! Alright. How was my trip? It was great, McKenna. I had a lovely time. It's just good to get away. I haven't, like, just gone on a weekend trip by myself for, like, a while. Uh, what are we playing next? We're gonna play a game called Beyond Two Souls. Uh, which is by the same... It was the the follow-up game to Heavy Rain. Uh, so the same people who eventually made Detroit Become Human. So we're gonna do... We're gonna finish this tomorrow. We'll do Beyond Two Souls next week, and then Detroit Become Human after that. All right, let's go. We are doing a marathon. Hey, Tracy. All right. Uh, so far, so good. Wow, this place has seen better days. Okay, so somebody had a barbecue indoors. That's probably against their lease agreement. Oh, yeah, Info Indigo Prophecy. Uh, is that available on PC? I think I used to have it on, like, PS2 or something like that. Detroit Become Lizard. Okay, well, am I prepared to make a sacrifice? I don't know what the hell I'm going to sacrifice in this place, but let's find out. There's no way this is going to be good. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? I think Ethan's been suffering for years now. Five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Ah, okay. All right, Ian, are you, are, Ethan, are you a righty or a lefty? Uh, okay, is there anything in here I can use? This place is the least hygienic spot. Uh, okay, anything in here? No, glasses, okay. Um, oh, we got, oh, fuck, a hatchet. Well, I don't get the job done, I guess. Um, all right. Well, anything in here I could use? Five minutes to get this done. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need to cauterize the bleeding or something. Uh, okay, the wound. Is there any? I got a saw. Oh God, there's actually put in a literal saw. That's got to be just. <laughs> it's about time they acknowledge the connection there. Uh, okay, anything else I could use? Oh man. Okay. Four minutes and thirty seconds left. God. Uh, look to my left. Nothing. To my right. Nothing. Okay, let's do it. Am I breathing in and out? Okay. Am I trying to decrease my heart rate? That's probably a good idea, so I don't lose more than the tip of my pinky there. Let's do a little more. We have a little time. One more. One more. This is working, and I have time to play. So let's try to just find your center. I'm gonna wait for... Yeah, just a little... I don't... I know. I have four minutes left, and that is okay. All right, let's do it. Oh, God. I know I'm not going to have to actually do any of this, but... Oh, Jesus, this is awful. Oh, Ethan. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Oh, jeez. God! Ah! Oh. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to wrap that up in something. Oh boy, you- oh wow, uh, TikTok just doubled in audience size for the- the exact right time. Donuts, thanks for following. Ugh. It's like Mike with his fingers from Until Dawn, it really is. Danny, thank you for following. Okay, uh, is there something I can use to cauterize this with, uh, Donuts Touches? I have played this, but it was, like, under the desk. Is that, what's under the desk? Something I can use? Or is it my, my reward, I presume? This is the, the card? Yeah, okay, alright. Well, first I gotta take care of the fact that I'm, I've... A slightly shorter finger than when I walked in here. Oh, Tom Toretto, you came in at exactly the right time. All right, well, he would want to. He would want to see this. He'd want to know that that was worth it. How do you do? Okay. Oh God. All right. Well, we're we're gonna have to move quickly here. Sh Sean does not have a ton of time. How we doing? Yeah, Roosevelt something or other. 852. All right, well, it's something. All right, well, we passed the test. It was gorgeous. I mean, it still looks decent. Obviously, it's a PS3 game. It's not going to look as good as it could. Let's give the man a hand. Indeed, get to friends online. Is this like the part after he lost his kid? Yes, yeah, so dumb. Um, so he lost one son already. And so a serial killer has taken his other son and said, you have to complete five challenges to get your son back. Uh, Donuts touches. I'm not on Twitch, but I'm actually on YouTube. So if you like, if you're watching on TikTok, my link to my YouTube channel is in my TikTok bio. So if you go to my TikTok bio, click on the YouTube link, you can come over and watch in full screen with us. Uh, we also have a, my Discord link is on there too. So if you want to hang out with us throughout the week, feel free to click on that and then join the Discord server. Uh, Angel, this is on, uh, actually it's on both. Uh, it started on PlayStation. Uh, and it is now available on PC as well. I hope the top of the screen is coming, gonna come back at some point. There it is, all right, good. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Uh, Lou Hale, thanks for following. Control spot of this car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? Uh, Jaden, next weekend we're doing Beyond Two Souls. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. You don't have concrete proof. You have a, an origami figure. That is not proof. It's something. What the fuck is that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Okay, so they're watching. And Madison does not know she's being watched. You're glad it's getting the recognition it deserves? Yeah, me too. It's been fun to come back to this one. You find it hard doing a second playthrough, Queef Queen? Um, it's a little challenging just in that, like, because I know how this ends. I am kind of looking at it being like, oh, wait, then why did that happen? You know, like, things like that. But it's, it's okay. It's still a good game. Okay, I'm not sure entirely where I'm going. Is this my building? Or did I, I followed Ethan. Maybe she lives there. Oh, just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? Ugh. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Yeah, are you not at all concerned about his bleeding hand, Madison? Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Uh, okay. All right. We've got to do... How do I find a way out of here? Oof, gross. All right, well, just a couple of rats. It's fine. Okay, no, I'm not getting out of here. Um, how else can we leave? Is there something here? There's a window. I mean, asking Ethan to climb out of that right now might be a, a lot. Ugh. 
Come on, little farther. Yeah, it's, that's going to be tough to get out of. All right, uh, what is this? Can we push that over and then use that to get out? Ready on my go. Uh-oh. All right. Here, oh, God. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door. Hold your positions. It's a go. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Let's go. Yeah. Might need to bust that window. There we go. Ethan, now. Come on, let's go this way. Oh, it's so gross. That hand. This game is missing a Nickelback song to really encompass how 2000s it is. Yeah, right? Well, think about, like, Until Dawn and other story-based games really drew a lot from this. I mean, obviously, like, this is kind of, like, one of the first of these games. To, well, one of the first, uh, the popular ones. How did House of Ashes go? It went really well. Uh, it's Lex. Yes, this is the same team that eventually made Detroit become human. This is a, a few days before that. Come on, quick! I can't. Are you just ignoring the cops? All right, let's let's at least get out of the line of fire here. They're not gonna shoot. It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow them. Okay. Uh, subway station. Let's go. Subway. Wait, are they in New York now? This is Philadelphia. All right, whatever. Okay, through here. Through here. Just a quick direct line. Yeah, it's definitely a New York subway. The map looked a lot like Philly, it's Lex, but, um, I mean, those those were, that's a New York subway station, obviously, so, or at least the sign did. Uh, who survived? Everyone survived in House of Ashes. We actually managed to keep everybody alive. I think they're just kind of doing a, a mix of, like, yeah, this is, like, Penn Station right here. They're just doing, a, a like, kind of a hodgepodge of, like, East Coast cities, but this, all this is definitely New York-y. But look, 30th Street Station, that's Philadelphia. 30th Street is the big station in uh, Philadelphia. Have I done Devil in Me? Yep, we we did Devil in Me in all one shot. It was like seven hours, but it was a lot of fun. Okay, I don't... Oh, he doesn't like crowds either. Well, Ethan, you're just going to have to suck it up right now. Can we... Can we get through here? Yeah, Jason, indeed. Uh, who was alive? Everyone was alive. We kept everyone alive in Devil and Me, too. Stop or I'll shoot! All right. Let's find a train. This is your childhood, Trevor Pates? All right, there is no... Yeah, we got on the wrong platform, apparently. There's no trains here. Oh god, they're coming. All right. Uh, Trevor Paints, thanks for following. Come on, train. This looks like rush hour. There's a lot of people on this platform. You're doing un uh, Until Dawn right now. You're glad Jess is alive? Cool. Until Dawn was so much fun to do. We had a great time. Okay, maybe we get to the streets. The tracks. We've got to cross the tracks. Oh, that's. Uh, I mean, yeah, I agree. You're kind of screwed otherwise, but that's gonna bring a lot of attention to you. Quick, quick, Ethan, quick! It's gonna hit us. Maybe you shouldn't have got on the tracks then. I don't know. All right. Well, what the? Oh no! Oh, it crashed! Ah! Oh, sorry, folks. Apologies. I did not expect it to crash. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me, let me get that back up. Ah, 
Sorry about that. At least it crashed quickly and like crashed to desktop and not to uh not to anything else. Ugh. Sorry about that. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see how far back. I'm pretty sure it auto saves. Pretty sure. We'll find out. Jade loves uh, Chris Stern. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Load. Uh, okay. Do we have to do this whole thing again? Is this free on Steam? It's not free. Uh, it is on Steam though. All right. Let's try this again. Sorry about that. Seven. A little bit of. I noticed a little bit of frame dropping going on at one point, but oh, okay. At least it didn't go that badly. I thought we were going to have to do the whole scene again. A few people had to crash for some reason. Aw. Winter Ayala, thanks for following. Or, sorry, uh, Alaya, thanks for following. Um. Yeah, let's just, let's cross. Quick, Ethan, quick, it's going to hit us. Uh, how much longer am I streaming? Let's see. Probably about another 30 minutes. I do want to save some for tomorrow, so I don't want to get too far. Yeah, how about we just... We get on that train. Yeah, let's get on this one, because they can get to the other train. I agree, let's go. This is not even the weirdest thing I've ever seen on the subway, but it's fine. Uh, do we do Madam Eden? We did! Yeah, we did Madam Eden. Miss Britt, thanks for following. Uh, His Royal to Sovereignty uh, Silent Hill. We've done a couple of Silent Hill games. We have to do the, about two more to uh, to wrap up the whole series. We haven't done Shattered Memories or Downpour yet. Uh, who Alive? We got, um, I think we did three out of five alive in Man of Medan, and then we went back and got everybody saved and saw like the perfect ending. Identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. Oh, well, thank you, Jaden. <laughs> Appreciate that. And they hope that they will soon be able How are we doing on TikTok likes? How are we doing decent? Dangerous lunatic. There we go. Walking Dead uh, Telltale series is your favorite? I need to go back and play those. We'll probably stream them. I hope that's okay. Uh, let's see. Were you followed? You followed me. Well, yeah, but aren't you glad she did? You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Oh, yes, it's Lex. Please do. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Uh, this is where you say no. This is where you say no, I am not the killer. Okay, no, just tell her at this point. I think she knows enough that you may as well just tell her what's going on. Where a typical person would say, I am not a, the origami killer. I... Yeah, the cops think Ethan might be the origami killer, Jaden. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm... someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards... is the bodies. Okay. Bodies in the water. In fairness to the cops, if I heard this, I would definitely think Why Ethan was the origami killer. <laughs> Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me. Testing my. Are life. they gonna make out? And if so, are we gonna cut the feed from TikTok? No, Maybe. Yeah. If they. To save him. If they uh, if they do start to hook up, then yeah, we'll have to cut the feed from TikTok. So just so you know, for the folks who are on TikTok. Um, I can't show nudity on TikTok or I'll get banned, so I may have to cut the video feed from TikTok. I'll still be on, You'll like, the game will still be going. Um, if you'd like to, the link to my YouTube channel, where I'm streaming right now, is in my TikTok bio. So if you go to my uh, TikTok bio, click on YouTube, you can come over and watch it with us and you can see the whole thing. I'm his only chance. And Sean is out of danger, I'll- You love Heavy Rain so much, Lord? Yeah, this is good. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Well, he's done three out of five so far. He's getting closer. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Uh, yes, Jane, we'll do Detroit Become Human in two weeks. There so, has to be another way. Uh, I mean, 
If you got any ideas, throw them out. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. He still has that gun he hasn't pulled out yet. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Hey, Alan. Thanks for coming over to YouTube. As it, uh, Red Blue Rose, thanks for following. Yeah, I guess it's not going to be here. At some point, I know there is the option to have a sex scene with Madison. Uh, so yeah, so if I, if that comes up, I just have to, to turn off the, the, the game feed on TikTok. I'll still be here. It's not like I'm going to like go away or anything, but <clears throat> I just don't want to get banned again. <coughs> Tay Tay, thanks for following. All right. We need to go find challenge four. No, not that way. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, why would you not open all of them? Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver. Kill him, send a picture, get your reward. Oh boy. That's why there's the gun. So is Ethan the killer? Well, whoever has Sean is sending Ethan these challenges he asked you to, do to get Sean back. So theoretically... He is, uh, he is potentially, um, he, he's not the origami killer, it doesn't seem like, although, unless he's sending these to himself, which I have not ruled out yet. Um, let's see, Alan, uh, do I prefer YouTube or TikTok? Um, I mean, I can do more with the audio on YouTube, unfortunately, and that's just because of the, um, the way that TikTok streaming platform is set up. Like, I would love to do the same audio on, uh, on TikTok. But I would say my primary platform is YouTube. better at piano than I thought I would be. Ah, missed it. Now that I said that. Whew, okay. Well, thanks, Jaden. I appreciate that. Make sure you don't go into the shower. Typical Tucker, we already did that. What is this, The Shining all of a sudden? You look Robin, thanks for subscribing on YouTube. If you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Where are we? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. And you're not. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. It does seem... Is not the origami killer. ...odd. It's like, why would he go after his own kid? Plus, like, the, the origami killing started before Jason died. the faintest fucking idea. Hey, language. There's kids in this stream. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. Maybe. That's what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. Yes. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Why do you know all this about me? Dangerous. Seriously, this is straight out of The Shining. I keep a handle on it, but it's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. This is I had to correct It'll her. End up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Tay-Tay, you uh, played your second playthrough of Detroit the other day. Now you're watching this. Do you need to get Heavy Rain? Heavy Rain's great. If you like Detroit Human, you'd uh, become human. You'd probably like uh, Heavy Rain a lot. Okay. Let's see. What now? Whoa! All right. Super cool. You might watch The Shining a little bit. I mean, The Shining is a great movie. It's probably one of my favorite horror movies. 
Well, well. But yeah, there's a scene that's very similar to that. Near the park on the afternoon, Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. I mean, it's worth looking at, though, right? Okay. Can I analyze it? A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. Hmm. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that she's meant to be Jaden's consciousness. He might be Cal. You could be right. Could be the killer's car. Could be. What else we got? Now we've seen the tire tracks. Oh wait, I got to geolocate stuff too. Hang on. Okay, now that doesn't show me much. No, okay, nothing for that. And we know where the park is, so we don't have to geoanalyze that either. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. This was found on the kid that we found earlier. We know about that. We know about the orchid. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. You got a plate, though. Can you run the plate? Unto Philip D. Campbell, reported stolen. stolen. All right, well. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Should we go play, pay Jackson Neville a visit, maybe? Geoanalyze this? What do we get from that? No, nothing. All right. Uh, let's see. Who are you? This is Jackson Neville. See, Philadelphia. Okay. But they're definitely using some New York um, Jackson Neville, uh, AKA assets. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles, considered to be very dangerous. Hey, Queen Claire. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead. Potential. That's all I have right now. He owns a junkyard. All right. Well, that's something. Uh, favorite character so far? I mean, I go with Ethan. I think Ethan's clearly, you know, he's been through a lot, but he's still definitely trying to save his kid. Uh oh. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in your one. It can be dangerous. Uh, Pidgey, this is heavy rain. Dangerous. Okay, so I should not go take that. It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some. Yeah. Pain will go away. But it's bad for you. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. You're scared of leaves? Oh, Pidgey, you're oh, in trouble then. Uh, okay. No, stay in control. Maybe drink some. Is that water? I don't know if that's water or the. What is that? I hope that's water, considering how much you just had. Hi, Frere. Thanks for uh, subscribing on uh, YouTube. Maybe go to the bathroom, wash your face or something. Yeah, something to just, you know, get get your head right. You're a little, uh, little disorganized right now. That is okay. Queen Claire, you think Norman Jaden's fine as hell? He's a good looking dude. Well, what his nose isn't bleeding. A little less attractive right now, I would assume. Oh. Ow. Ooh, okay. No, no, we're not going to do that. Maybe take a shower or something? No, it's not gonna let me, oh wait. Or at least, yeah, rub, yeah, get some, get some cold water on you. I suppose it would be, Jaden. Yeah, that, that'll that'll focus on that for a little bit. Uh, yes, we are doing Beyond Two Souls next weekend, so we're gonna uh, let's see. We're still on uh, on heavy rain for now, but we'll be going to uh, Beyond Two Souls uh, next weekend, and we'll be uh, so tomorrow we'll finish up heavy rain. Alrighty. What's up with you, Scott? Ellie and, uh, let's see. I don't see a username for you. Thank you both for following. 
He's showering with his clothes on. He is. He's just kind of just getting the cold water on him, helping him focus. Stop thinking about the pain. Manfred's Antiques. Okay, so we're looking for the typewriter that typed that letter. Thank you, Mr. X. I do got this. Manfred. Bunch Manfred. Of, bunch of analog clocks. Nice. Okay, so he services typewriters. Probably the one who services Scott's. Is he here? Nothing here. You around? I can't go that way. Oh, there's Manfred. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This How long ago did I play this? Um, yeah, of course. When it first came out, I think it was about like 2010, 2011. How long has it been? Oh. Hey, Coda, happy Easter to you too. Oh. At my age, time means nothing. And he, he does kind of have a Geppetto vibe to him, Jaden. You're right. I I prepare clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. This is that one game about Sean redacted. Yep. Wait there. I, I'm sure I I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Oh, well then, it's that kind of celebration. I mean, Scott, you drove, so I don't, I don't know if you should be having scotch, but all right. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Oh, sure, we can accomplish that. Hello? Oh, thanks, Jaden. Yeah, Appreciate that. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. How was the Fallout Boy show? Oh, it was great. I had a great time. Uh, Sami, this is heavy rain. Wow. Well, to old friend. Kanpai. That is a decent sized shot. I don't know if you're going to be around this afternoon for uh, whatever is going on. You're probably going to need to take a nap. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Well, let's have a look. Now let's take a look. Hmm. Uh, next live will be uh, tomorrow. So it'll be uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific time here on YouTube and TikTok. Magnifying glass from behind the counter. Oh, sure, please. I'll get it. Yeah. Are beginning to fail me. Let's see if we can help with that magnifying glass. There you are. All right. Thanks. Now let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Let's see then. The Royal Five. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Okay. Got to find a Royal Five. Uh, are they rare? These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Well, crap. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic uh, or in their cellar. Okay. You ever repaired them? Places around that could repair one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in uh, 64. Well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> oh, so it's got to go through you then here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Okay, and who are your clients? 
You keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. I think you'd want to keep a record of the ones that yeah, didn't, like right? Peek at that. Oh, yes, of course. Well, for an old friend. My account books in the office. Uh, if you're not an. Oh, hey, we hit our 32k on uh, on TikTok. All the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. That sure would. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. All right. Duh. Just a small town girl. You think the killer's been here? Maybe. Living in a lonely world. I have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. Took the midnight typewriter to Manfred's. All right. Oh, what's what what's going on? What are you finding, Lauren? Just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. He's got a Royal Five typewriter to repair. Okay, my plan is... Alright, there's Scott. Yeah, what are you finding back here, Manfred? Anything? Uh, no, no, we're back this way. The camera... I think the control Hello, scheme changes Manfred. when we when we go to a different view. Oh. What the hell? I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Uh... What happened to you? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh god. Uh, how? How is a good question. Surely... That's... Oh wait. Okay, windows open. When you played this, everyone died, Courtney. I've kept everyone alive so far. Uh, we'll see. It's pretty hard to kill them earlier in the game. Tomorrow, we run the risk of losing people. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, that is the correct response. I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Any suspicions? Oh, I played this before. I do know who the origami killer is. I, I don't want to ruin it. Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. All right, let's see if we remember everything. Okay. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for arms of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. Okay. All right. Well, let him... That's actually helpful. Let her do that. And I don't think we touched that. We did touch the phone. Hey, Rila. Okay. Uh, there was a magnifying glass that we got for him, which was over here. Oh, yes, and the... shot glass. Okay, there's that magnifying glass. Let's get that. And then... Uh, no, Rila, I have played this before, but it's been a while. And then, let's see, she touched, there was a little music box over here. It was, uh, right there, you. Yeah. Okay, and I think that's it. Alright, let's go. Oh, yes, the handle of the door, I guess. Uh, have I played Beyond Two Souls? No, we're doing that next. So that'll be next weekend we'll do Beyond Two Souls. Okay, are we... Don't forget to clean Lauren's prints, too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. Okay, and what did she... Uh, alright. Quick! Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. Yeah, I know, but what else is there? I don't think we touched anything else. I looked at the clocks. Scott, are you gonna be much longer? No, we're gonna go. Will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Uh, okay, do we... Memory? That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yes, I think we did. 
I got the phone already. We already got the phone. What I got. It should be enough to prevent them. Oh, the white phone. Oh, shoot. Come on, let's go. All right, well, we missed it. All right. Oh, do we miss the case as well? Ah, oh, bummer. All right. Oh, and the window. Yeah, there. We, we missed the window as well. Well, hopefully we'll be all right. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. And that's, okay, yeah. Then he got dragged into the police. Opinion on Jaden? Um, you should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Seems Would have saved us interesting. I'm still not entirely sure where he's coming from, right? Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. All right, so Scott and Lauren are held up a little bit. I spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And with that, it looks like it is. Let's see. Is that? Yeah, it looks like we're probably just about time. Well, let's see. Let me make sure the scene's over. Well, well, Scotch. Oh no, there's more. Okay. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. Oh, well, thank you, Blake. For time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Are you on to anything at the moment? Uh, yeah, I got a few leads here and there. Nothing you need to worry about? I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? No, of course, because we're all friends. Sure. All right. So with that, uh, that's probably a good time to go ahead and uh, and put it up for today because I want to make sure we save something for tomorrow. So uh, we'll be back. It'll be 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we're going to pick up right where we left off today. And so we'll be uh, we'll be finishing up heavy rain tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Before I stop the live, can I tell you what happened? Uh, let's see. Well, that's I'm not sure where you where you stepped out. So unfortunately, I don't know that I can catch up. But this, these are saved on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go back and see anything you missed, if you go to uh, my TikTok bio, click on the YouTube link, it'll bring you over to YouTube. This will be saved on there so you can go and check out the whole thing if you like. Anyway, hope to see you all tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been a lovely afternoon. And thanks for getting to enjoy Heavy Rain with me. And we'll hopefully be able to uh, finish up everything tomorrow and uh, get on to Beyond Two Souls next weekend. So take care, everybody. Be safe. And I'll see you next time.